recording. Kobe, shut up. All right. I am now officially <laughs> recording this nonsense. Let's so go. anything you say can and will be held against you. Oh boy. I murdered a man. Oh hey look, there are two beds over there. On the corner bed? down there. Those are tables. Oh, One's oh, a table, the other's a bed. Yeah. Oh there's the bed! <laughs> Alright. Welcome back to the strange, everybody. This is session three. I have no idea what's gonna happen, but there's gonna be some new players introduced. We're gonna hopefully from here on out have three people who've played before and three people who haven't until they've introduced everyone. Hopefully. Schedule. And then we just roll the wheel of fish every day. We love the wheel of fish. What the heck is the wheel of fish? Oh, what about fish. the wheel of whales? Oh, boy. Do I want to know what the, the wheel of fish? Wheels on the fish the wheel of fish. The Atomic <laughs> has uh, muted his mic again. Probably because he's eating what? something, honestly. What's a wheel of fish, and do I want to know what a wheel of fish is? It's like uh, a wheel of bread. It's like the. It's just like. It's like. Think Wheel of Fortune, except a fish on it. <laughs> I just keep having nightmare fuel today. Um, <laughs> Don't worry, you'll have more. Look in the chat. <laughs> All right. About, so, uh, there's no previously on because you guys not all not all were in the last session and everyone's supposed to do things on their own. If you didn't catch in, up on stuff before, uh, that's what I, the IC congratulations. is. Congratulations. You're I now lost. On the first one, halfway through the second one. Well, the new hilarious. players don't have any need to have to catch up on anything, but the previous three are expected to like at least look at the IC every now and then and ask what's happened. <gasps> the IC. Mm. Okay, let's do this thing. I want to. I want to shout it. I want to. Can we? Let's do this. Well, you might have to be patient because I've randomized who's up in what order. <gasps> oh, by the way, how do you change this your? Is not uh, in my dictionary. Change what? You change you your change what? The username to include your character name. Uh, when I activate your character, that happens. Uh, he, oh, she, oh, I think okay. she's talking about in Discord. Oh, that's the uh, nickname thing. You just right click on your own name in the voice call and then uh, hit change nickname. Oh, uh, oh, cool. You can do that anytime, anywhere, in any server. <laughs> Unless they have it turned off. Uh, <laughs> Anyway, uh... At which point the mods will just do it to you without warning. Hey, <laughs> alright, uh, Tsuki, check, you in. Hey! Okay, that's a terrible in, but okay. Amuse, <laughs> Tycoon, you in. Yep, yep. Alright, and the one who's muted, downstairs. uh, Vivian, uh, Atomic, you in. Yes, sir. Alright, sir. Then, you three are currently the only ones in this level of the na the base you still haven't named. Seriously, guys. We don't need a name. You what? don't need it's a name. Just base. I can't. It's just base. I can't. It's the land that doesn't have a name. <laughs> I can't keep referring to it as unnamed home base area. I mean, I just, I've just called it the hub world in my notes. Oh, hub world, yeah, that, that's great. Maybe you start calling it that officially with the characters or something. It is technically a little planet the way it looks here. Yeah, it's round. I'm supposed to be taking notes. Oh, uh, it's generally. Considered I mean, you don't a good have idea. to. You don't have to, but it's generally considered a good idea in case I say something that matters later. That's just me, I though. better open my documents then. <laughs> yeah. uh, I have like okay. two separate notebooks okay. out, by the way, to keep track of stuff for me, because I have to keep track of a lot more stuff than you guys do. I have oh. Google Docs. And live. I have one Google document open. <laughs> and yeah, one empty Google too. Doc. Let's go. <laughs> All right, anyway. Uh, Suki, the go? slime rancher, Tycoon, go. the armor-wearing superhero, and Vivian, the guy... Armor-wearing cape. I'm wearing cape fine, but Vivian the uh... She's neutral. She's not a hero or villain. Oh. How sad. Super I mean, person. I mean, <laughs> she, on her home planet, she was paid by other people to build armor. Alright, alright. Made... Um, we don't need to know this yet. You can tell us. We, we don't need lore! Later. I was just trying to go on Vivian. <laughs> anyway! You can never have enough lore. So Tsuki <laughs> is working on are. her ranch pens as usual, making sure the slimes are happy. The hunters aren't happy. Uh -huh. Tycoon yeah, yeah. Well, I have, stuff. I still have a uh, spicy tofu, so they're not unhappy yet. <laughs> and Vivian, uh, Vivian, what are you doing at this point of day? Um, hold on, I need to do something real quick. <gasps> but I asked you a question. <laughs> Me. <laughs> well, now we have to wait for him. So, uh -huh. who likes to hear no, me? I am, just, uh, I am just translating back, and I am hungover. Okay. Oh. <laughs> He's boy. hungover. All right. 
Hung over from. Let's go. Uh, I expected that to happen. Hung over from Adventures with <laughs> Thornton. Uh, <laughs> Thornton. Thornton's probably right. passed out drunk in art. Probably passed out in the woods. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so let's see the first character we get. All right, so as usual, I am inspecting my shopping list. <laughs> as usual, when someone new is brought into the area, unnamed home base, uh, they seem to appear out of the corner of your eye, and uh, they have no idea how they got there, and they're very disoriented. Void, you get to go first. Yeah. I can control it, so uh, hold on a sec. I have to. Uh, I'm activating it. You can describe. You can describe yourself right now. <clears throat> Who is you? Uh, oh boy. And why well, do I want to eat you? Why do I want to eat you? <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm. Uh, I'm a gray Pegasus with sour markings underneath the eyes, a dark mane, uh, and someone who is looking. Very much like he just drunk quite a bit of hot cider. Too much. Ah. Oh. Already half the group is drunk. Let's go. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go. Alright, uh, Void, I have now activated your character and your sheet. You can now you can now see it. You can now access all the things. Thank you. There we are. And uh, the stats. We don't do that. I I see the Pegasus pop in, and I'm like, "Yo, it's too bad Quintessence isn't here." <laughs> uh, that would be helpful, I would think. Hello, welcome to the uh, welcome to the party. Uh, oh, it's another one. Uh, uh, well, it doesn't have the pointy bits, so. <laughs> I mean, I believe it's still what? the same species. <laughs> what did you What did you say? I said it doesn't have the pointy bit. The the horn. <laughs> oh, oh, no, they no, 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 they they are, they are rare. Ugh. Ugh. What the hell did I do last night? Good questions. Well, I don't think what you did last night is relevant because, uh, yeah, you're uh, you're here now, and uh, <laughs> we're all trapped in this uh, dimension. We're trying to figure out how to get you know back places. Uh, say again, yes. please, in standard equestrian, not, not a kitty, whiny. You were in the place that you, you were in the place that you called home, and now you're here. You were brought here by some very powerful mover. Uh, That's so, all you know. So you're saying that I won't be able to go home that that is that is correct for the time being we're thinking maybe we'll be able to get back using shenanigans but at the moment yeah we're stuck and i who had thought of finally returning to to, to, to nimbusia uh i don't have to wait another year or five <laughs> year ah <laughs> uh, yes a year Yes, the that's all just, over. <laughs> the Slender just thinks she's so drunk that the strange orange hair, orange haired being, and the suit of talking armor are just figments of her imagination. Look, um, being drunk, being being suitably drunk, and being quite out and being quite, you know, disoriented can do a lot of can do a lot of field goggles. <laughs> You know, in about an hour, she's gonna go. Wait, hold on a second. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, right now, the drunk Pegasus doesn't seem to uh, be able to react very much. Drunk and drunk on the hill is just very, very disorient, disoriented, and not used. And drunk is a euphemism for has no fucking idea what's happening and is more confused. Than... I give I give Thunder a glass of Fanta and get back to work. <laughs> <laughs> welcome to the group. Safe. That was fast. Welcome, okay. to, well, well, welcome to the group. Here's a complimentary Fanta and cube of spicy tofu. All right. Enjoy your stay. I guess next <laughs> it's uh, Junie. <laughs> All right. Uh, Junie pops in after the Pegasus starts like strumbling around a bit. And Junie, explain yourself and describe yourself while I give you control and activate your uh, character. 
Zy Zykora is a, well, she's from Homestuck because where else would she be from? But she's a troll, so she has gray skin. Um, skin. Gray skin. skin. <laughs> Whatever. Gray, probably skin. It's skin. Gray, she has gray skin um, and basically candy cane colored horns. Her horns are a little corn. bit like. Candy corn. It's literally candy. the color of candy corn, except for without the white part. Um, and her horns look a tiny bit like, her horns look kind of like crab claws. That image is a customized image of Zykora, so if, um, nice. she's wearing, she's wearing glasses. One is, they're both, they're mirrored, but one is blue and one is green. You can't see her eyes through them. Um, she is, for some reason, wearing pretty much no colors except black gray and this weird shade of like mustard gold yellowish um oh a she, gold appeared, gold one. She, she, is, she she has black hair um but when when she appears she kind of like stumbles um no. around just very calmly says okay what the fuck <laughs> <laughs> I'm assuming that Cora just actually looks like in the uh looks doesn't look like the, looks like the normal style of Homestuck characters. Yeah. Uh, assume assume unless otherwise stated, everything looks makes sense in three dimensional context. Notably, the only one who's broken this rule so far is a stick figure. Cora <laughs> is three dimensional. Ikora, so she's yeah. in hero mode. What? I just didn't hear so you. So she's in hero mode? Yes, she is in hero <laughs> For those people who care about Homestuck, yes, that is it. But for the rest of you, it, it, just humanoid creature bug thing. And she's a gold bug. Oh, me? Alright. Uh, interact with the troll. People, you know how this works. <laughs> Zykora um, pulls a large, kind of creepy like grubby organic looking sword out of a sheath on her back and holds it and holds it up defensively. She clearly knows what she's doing with it. I I squint at it. I wonder if that can be used as food. Anyways, hello. <laughs> <laughs> Get out of touch my sword. This is mine. Yes, yes, I'm aware, but you know. Why where the where am I? What the what, what in all of the, what in the Empress's name is going on? <laughs> uh, welcome to the uh, the hub world where random people get uh, trapped for no good reason because <laughs> yeah, what? what I signed up for. Ever. Quick, what, I, uh, I, quick question. You know, I, I why is the why are, what is that? What is what <laughs> what? What exactly are you? I'm a troll. What what the fuck are you? <laughs> I'm a human. <laughs> what, the, what, what the fuck don't, is a human? Don't let the suit of armor fool you. What is in fact human? human. What's a human? I gesture to myself and then to Tycoon and then to Vivian. Tycora <laughs> <laughs> um, rolls her eyes. It's a very... It's a, actually, no. You can't tell if she's rolling her eyes or not. You get the feeling that under those glasses, she is rolling her eyes very hard. That, that explains, uh, hmm, let me think, exactly nothing. Thanks. <sighs> you were someplace that's not here, right? Yes, I was someplace that's not here, and I was about and to get then... blown up, but then I didn't because shenanigans happened, and now I'm here, which is not where I was expecting to be. So, as I will repeat, what the fuck? You were brought here by someone very, by someone or something. Powerful definitely enough a thing. To seemingly definitely pull. a thing. Powerful enough from seemingly pull from numerous different worlds. Yeah, I'm just gonna. Yeah, you guys. Uh, you know what? Fine. You know what? Fine. Okay. Takes a deep breath and sheaths her sword. Okay. So I'm gonna say it again because even though I already said that about a different thing. That experience pretty much nothing. I still don't know where I am. I don't know who the hell any of you are. Just what? 
I, 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 I just say, uh, so none of us know where we are. <laughs> so that's great, too. I mean, it's not like I had, it's not really friends. I mean, when I ever, you know what, I'm just, okay, fine. You see a few blue and green sparks crackling between her horns. This is fine! Everything's fine. It is. Uh, very at the crackling sparks, uh, <laughs> one of the uh, typhoons. God, why do you keep saying typhoon? Tycoon's right arm, uh, a p uh, p pieces of armor on it shift, and something begins to emerge from the armor, but she doesn't point it at anyone. <laughs> she just turns it on. Dicora, like, I the sparks start glowing a start. There's some more sparks now. <laughs> and Vicora no, is sparking more. There's no tic tac to defuse attacks. I suggest you calm oh. down a little bit. But none of us know why we are here. As, yeah. yeah, none of us know why we're here. I'm Suki, by the way. Resident uh, builder. I build things. And I just direct all the things around. <laughs> I'm taking it. Cora crunches a fist and you notice some short yellow claws. Hey. Okay. You know what? Fine. Fine. I mean, it's not like this place can be any worse. Oh, guess what that means? Oh, boy. Oh, no. oh, no. Hey, oh, no. Speckle, it's your turn. Oh, oh boy. You, you asked uh, have for any it. Of you heard of, um, have any of you ever heard of Winx Club? Oh. oh. I've oh, heard no. of it, yeah. I've heard of it. Interesting. Ikora wasn't saying that this place could be worse. She's saying it couldn't be any worse than where she was. But, oh, stars. <laughs> okay, um, can Sosa come in like she was sitting somewhere? Yep. Or I, gu I guess I should explain it then. Describe your character. Okay. <clears throat> Out of the corner of your eyes, you see... He's someone else fade into the room exactly as Ikora finished speaking. The figure is female and looks to be cross sitting in a cross legged position before thudding onto the floor a couple inches below her. In her hands is, well, was a book that is not, has now clattered to the floor. And the girl in question with strange blonde blue hair. Looks up, startled. What? Um, I'm... She looks around and realizes she is not in her dorm room anymore. Akora rolls her eyes. Don't answer, nobody knows. Don't <laughs> answer, I still don't know. <laughs> uh, I got here about five minutes ago, so I know exactly zip squat zero nothing. <laughs> oh my Apparently no one else does either. Feel great. Feel great over here. Welcome. Oh my gosh. She, the girl turns around and sees, well, she doesn't really know what she's seeing, but it's definitely not Althea. <laughs> it's purple. Where am I? This isn't... None of us know! None of us know anything, apparently! <laughs> <laughs> oh dear. Oh dear, oh dear, oh dear, oh dear. Uh, Vivian goes up to, uh, what's your name? Your character Sosa. again, Jimmy? Sosa. My character is Okay. Mine is Sosa. Her name's Sosa? under her image, people. It's not that hard. <laughs> okay, got it. I just go up to, to, uh, Sykora, and I just put my hand on her shoulder, and I'm like, Don't touch me! For the people sake of silence and sanity, shut up. <laughs> and then I walk away. <laughs> Daikora just blinks slightly. Oh! And just. Daikora is. Daikora kind of walks over to one wall and just leans against it. Okay. <laughs> playing with some sparks between her fingers. <laughs> um. Who are you people? I kidnapped, have I? This isn't a witch prank, is it? It's not. I don't even. What the? What? What's a witch? <laughs> witch prank? No. Oh, do you go no, 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 for magic? I think it was. Uh. Uh. uh yes. Oh goodness. She. So also looks at the. 
and armor and doesn't really know what to think. It doesn't look like specialist gear. It's none she's ever seen before. It is also this super advanced. That too. Oh my, that's... Are you a paladin? By any chance? Uh, is this a... a... No? Oh! I... I have no idea what I'm... Oh, Griselda's going to... Mrs. Griselda's going to be so angry. <laughs> Well, uh, she is one of the headmasters. Head if something goes wrong, she's the one who punishes you. I'm just saying that as inside. You come from a magic school? I... yes! Althea! One of the most... popular, famous oh. schools in all of magics. It was so hard getting in. I was so worried, but I... <laughs> Wait. Don't... you? Isn't... This magics? I'm, we're still in magics, I assume. Uh, from where I come from, magic isn't real. What? I mean, that's. E I? Wait. Wait. What are you? What I'm are you a fairy? <laughs> I'm a fairy. My name is Sosa. How also of Oceanus. Fairy. What, what's a fairy? What do you look like? You look like... Well, well, one of those... Creatures from the old expedition long ago. No one I'm... understands anything. Oh goodness! You're a Pegasus! <laughs> I wasn't sure you could... Uh, they could speak. I mean, I've heard that there are magical creatures out there that speak, but no Eklund's that I know of. Oh if goodness. Pick, if, if all Pegasus speak. Huh, that's... I'm interested, but why, why, why are you magical? No human, I think it was, could ever do magic. Wow. I'm not human, though. I'm a fairy. Humans, they live... Last I heard, they don't have any magic on their world. Something... I'm still not sure of the details, but... So, this isn't... Earth, or... Magic, or... Ma then how did I get here? <laughs> it makes no sense. Brought here by someone or something quite powerful. Something strong enough to very apparently pull people from very different worlds. I come from a world where a large amount of the population possess, uh, I suppose you would call them superpowers, but we call them capes. Capes? Capes. Capes? That's... Oh, you mean like specialists? Not... Exactly. I'm. I myself am a cape. I, uh. She wraps one of her knuckles against her armor and says, I can build things. Like. This armor. Oh! That's odd. Odd. I mean, I know, really. I know there. I know there. Oh, really? I know that. I know that there are some specialists at, at specialize in crafting, but they're mostly heroes in training. Suki, mm -hmm. I, 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 Suki you're the only one who understands what's going on. I, I, I walk back up to the group. I'm like, all right, how are our uh, new, how are the new people coming along? Have you explained the what's up yet? Wait, you, you wait, you are a human too. Correct. Sosa turns around and. Right, and notices a girl with bright orange hair and a very strange looking gun <laughs> and her immediate reaction is to, is to let out an alarm squeak and jump backwards like this <laughs> oh my what is that she just points to the gun 
Oh. Eyes is... wide. Ah! This is one of the greatest marvels of technology ever to existence. This is the Fanta six-pack backpack. It is a marvelous feat of engineering. Given to me by the wonderful heads of Fantacore. And I, uh, plonk a, uh, spicy tofu out of one of the one of the uh, vacuum chambers and hand it to Sosa. <laughs> Sosa hesitantly accepts the cube, <laughs> looking at it strangely and eyeing the gun suspiciously. I also plunk um, out a can of Fanta and hand that to her as well. <laughs> out of curiosity, how tall is Sosa? Um, she's around five foot. She's not very tall, but but not like actual fairy size, gotcha. Still tall than yep. Jenny! <laughs> Naturally. Um, this... Sosa stares between the tofu cube and the can strange can and notices the logo. Ah, Anta is a drink. You are an employee at a drinking... At a brewery? I wouldn't call it a brewery exactly, but I suppose I'm ahead of a resource development and uh, all that good stuff. I gesture at the slimes. I uh, I manage lots of resources. <laughs> uh, Miss Sosa, was it? Uh, yes. You said that you move in Earth. Yes. Correct. Uh, what year is it on that earth? Um... I don't think she would know that. Well, years are measured differently on each world. Um... Would you like it... I think it in, um, Boshanis time? Earth time? I think I know Earth time, but I'm more familiar with my own. Uh, Earth would be preferable. Mm, well, I think it's somewhere in the early spring. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> the answer you were looking for. <laughs> She's well wet red on a lot of things, but Earth is like has been a kind of gray area for a long time. I will point out that Suki has an Earth. I have Earth as well. I'm currently looking up what the date is in Slime Rancher because <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Wait up, uh... It's at this point Sosa recognizes the sees all the different um, resources. I guess you could call them behind, <laughs> behind the 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 creatures and the pens. Yeah, the slimes inside of the forest cages. <laughs> oh. Well, she doesn't know that, and so she <laughs> gives another squeak of alarm and jumps back again. Oh, wow, what, what, what are those? Those are, uh, those are slimes. Those are slimes. They're, they're all quite harmless, except for the, uh, the sparkly ones. Don't get, don't get near the sparkly ones. <laughs> why? Oh, arm or... Oh, There's when you a... ask why, one of the sparks from the mosaic slimes drops on the ground and explodes. <laughs> lights the immediate oh area my. on fire before snuffing out on the stones of the, uh, the area. <laughs> Speaking of which, Suki, were you ever planning to build a more secure containment for those slimes? Uh... They're... Th those are reasonable enough. Like, they're not gonna get out. Just, you know. <laughs> okay, I can fight a lot. But I don't think I can do that without getting my coat thrown off. Yeah. Yeah. I'm just going to fight them. <laughs> Alright, oh. so you guys are all basically introduced at this point. So, mm -hmm. at this point, now is the time where you decide what you're going to do. And, oh uh, dear. But before, before we get into that, uh, I'll describe to everyone, old players and new players, like the thing about... So at the top of the text box, the there's a tab on top that says journal. If you click the journal tab, you will have access to your character sheet, which you can examine and edit to your heart's content. Oh wow! Cool. Also, you you've all already found the speak as button beneath the chat box. Yes. Mhm. Mm okay, so 
After that, uh, I'm going to make it official about how the IC works. Uh, time between sessions and the IC, or in-character chat, are uh, is kind of fungible. So anyone who is uh, not in the adventure is either not at uh, the hub world, I guess we're calling it, not at the hub world or asleep or something. So anyone who is not part of these sessions, their character has no way to know what happens unless another character goes and tells them, which is the point of the IC. To compare notes and such. Yes. Yeah. Uh, mm -hmm. Beyond that, I'm trying to remember what else there is. Uh, you're going to be a, a. The only thing you guys have to do and keep track of is the stuff you get. So when you get something, you, you're responsible to put it in your character sheet. I'm not, because if I open and close character sheets all the time, it appears in the recording and it takes forever. <laughs> how do you oh how do you add things in your character sheet? Is, just, is that just attributes? Okay, so uh, go to the Joe Journal tab. Go to click your character. Click your character. Yeah. And once you click your character, at the top there's an edit button. See it. Right, the equipment and all that. Yeah, I see it. Yeah. And you just put it wherever you feel like you need to. This right. goes for and... leveling up too and such. And I also have my own spreadsheet based. Oh, we have, to work we on. have one for ciphers too. Okay, that's by the way. Uh, new characters don't get ciphers, but in order to keep the fact that people are going out and stuff, the three people who are already here prepare to get a random cipher. So <gasps> Cipher! Ciphers are random use objects. They're generally uh, random. It's technology. They're just and they take. Inventories. What? He's just assuming we got them somewhere. Yeah. During our adventure. Uh, ah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. The, the, those of you who are not, who those of you who are new, start with none. But uh, Vivian, you get a super jump potion or super jump thing. So uh, put under your ciphers super jump, uh, jump as high. As very long range with no fact of damage. <laughs> Jump a very oh my! <laughs> uh, that's that that's is... vertical distance, by the way, not horizontal. Boing. Okay, uh, Duke. Yes. You get instant rewind. Did an enemy take an action you don't want to happen? Instant rewind. <laughs> All right, and uh, Tycoon. Yes. I'm gonna give you a magic eight ball. Oh, oh no. boy! Is it a brisk of magic eight ball? Uh, oh, God, dude. Uh, the magic eight ball. eight ball is the most common cipher I hand out. It is ask a question, get a yes/no, maybe answer. <laughs> get a vague, unhelpful answer. <laughs> will it? <laughs> More like a not. not like I a mean, get, will, will it always give a correct answer? Yes. Will it always. It's always correct, but it's vague and unhelpful. <laughs> Unless used properly. I mean, you can just ask it some very, very... Well, you only get one question. <laughs> I don't know. Yeah, so, uh, by the so way... You can't uh, play 20 questions with the 8-ball. In most cases, you don't need to PM me to activate an ability. You can just put it in chat or put it in the voice. I'm more likely to see something happening in voice. I don't read everything that happens off in the chat box, by the way. No, I think the I think the chat box is just where we put our uh, idle chatter. I, yeah, that's uh, where <laughs> idle chatter goes. Role playing and stuff happens. Yeah, yeah. there's six players. Not everyone's going to be engaged in every scene. That's how it works. Like right, right okay. now, it, right now it's thunder poking, thunder poking the thunder, and then <laughs> some more. <stuff>. Anyway, <laughs> yeah. Sosa's totally lost. Oh, okay. And it's scared. So, uh, Suki. Do you want to explain things in a way that's not going to freak everyone out? Uh, all right. I see I'm going to have to explain everything. All right. So, you all come from various places. We all come from various places. We are all now here due to unknown reasons in the hub world where hub world things happen. <laughs> <laughs> so, none of us know where we are. We assume at some point we'll be able to find our way back to our respective... Uh, home universes areas whatever Dicora sudden sorry for interrupting but Dicora is interrupting so Dicora suddenly flashes with blue and green no 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 can I not go back please I mean Ever? I w I assume you could not go back there's oh, like thanks. there's like nothing there's nothing like driving you to find your way back it's just you know most people like going back home and find it uh, comfor comforting to be able to uh, work towards getting back home rather than just being stuck here in the middle of nowhere 
with uh, no hope of anything. I mean, I have most of my tools, and I I'm still have enough to just powers. not be on Alternia anymore. <laughs> I well, guess technically I wouldn't have stayed there, home, but... <laughs> Inter interdimensional travel's been invented in magic. Really? Either so now, this place has such a capability. Um, if it yeah. is part of magic, then... Well, the thing is, we have, we have interdimensional travel. The thing is, we don't oh. have... We have very few places to go at the moment, and we don't know where any of them are, and it's all... We have no idea how that would get us closer to our respective home universes. But, you know, there's a couple universes, like, around that we can hop to. There's a computer upstairs that has a, like, instruction manual on how to do it. But it's not that complicated. Okay. okay. And, um, what's a computer? <laughs> <laughs> I, gesture to, I, I gesture to the device in Zykor's uh, bag. Oh, Zykora pulls out her, um, pulls out her, it's just a computer, it's just a weird organic computer, but, uh, <laughs> this is not, oh, oh, I guess different terms, yeah, this, yeah, yeah, this thing, this thing, that's effectively a computer thing, as well, yeah? It said, it's a husk top, to be specific. Why is it made Except of I modified it so I could use my psionics to power it, because that's just the why is it made of organic material? Why, what else would it be made of? <laughs> metal and circuits and. Why would you use up good metal for weapons with a computer with a desktop? You can just. Why would you don't even need to? That's just stupid. <laughs> are, are those little legs <laughs> on the side? Of course they are. Your you world is You it around when you're sitting down that way. <laughs> what would you? What else would you people do? Push it? I mean, that's easy enough for me, but like. I mean, I have a advanced computer built into my suit. Yeah. See, see, see. He get. They get it. They get it. They get it. <laughs> I, I gesture to the display on my uh, my backpack as well. I'm like. Yes, you also get it. Yes, <laughs> yes. yes, you also get it. You two get it. That you don't have an immobile computer, that's stupid. <laughs> oh, I also have this. Oh. She sticks her husk top back in her bag and pulls out. It's a it's a phone, but also organic and creepy. <laughs> 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 On the topic of returning home, I do have quite a few projects I would like to finish, but there are also the end bringers, so What the what's an end bringer? Oh no. I would assume um... something that brings an end. <laughs> you that should be lucky that your world not have. One of those. Uh, GM, could I say that like uh, my suit has like basic holographic projection systems just to like show images and stuff? Not holographic. You can have it. You can uh, upload things to a screen though. You have an interface. A projector. <laughs> just project it onto a wall. Like a hologram. You have a basic projector. But uh, I don't think it matters all that much, does it? Just just describe uh, what's happening. Describe what's up. Do you describe all really the end know bringers. about the end bringer? I mean, I, she asked. I just asked you what an end bringer was. Why would I? Why would I not want to know? The end bringers are. We don't know where they came from, but. Every few months, they appear and wreak havoc on a city, either by, through any means. There are three, the Simiurg, the Behemoth, and Leviathan. Um, are, you, have, you have the Leviathans in your world, too? Goodness. Wait, um, why did, what's a Leviathan? <laughs> I mean, look, I, I'm an alien. Look, I, we are, I'm working with aliens here. What's a leviathan? A giant uh, sea serpent that lives in the deepest part of the ocean. Oceanus has at least several mating grounds. They frequent there for every year. I'm thinking of Libba Goblin. Oh, excuse me? Excuse you. Libba Goblin. <laughs> um, God bless you. 
It's the it's the Eris's Losus. It's a giant murdery it's a giant murdery thing that lives under the water <laughs> and kills thousands and thousands of other Lucy a year. Thankfully, my Lucus wasn't oceanic, so I was fine. Also, I didn't live near the, near the ocean because if you do, that's asking to, that's just asking to get cold. Uh. Oh, also, if it, also if it screamed, it would kill all of troll kind. But like, eh. oh my oh, goodness, a loss. why is it that every universe is terrible? What what why is that? Like mine's fine. Why does why does everyone else have just Magic you know? This isn't terrible. You have uh, no there idea. Are, there are some That's planets nice. that are inhabitable, but are inhabitable ah. and non-habitable, but none are really well. I guess the mega dimension is for rather horrible. Oh, don't come visit Alternia sometime uh, when you figure out how. <laughs> uh, Taku is going to point also, uh, a hand at the floor and is going to project an image of Leviathan on it. I'm going to throw it in uh, RPG OC. Alright. It's Ooh. not as good looking as this because it, it's fairly blurry and from a distance. And she says, Oh. This is one of the three and oh. Leviathan. By Coronan. That is, yeah, that that's is not a That definitely looks like a mutated Lucis or something. That is not a Leviathan. Not the ones I'm. Not the ones I'm. Some kind of mutated Lucis or something. You you doesn't get me biomics so to deal with it. <laughs> All right. Oh wait. Anyways, do you have that? Vivian, uh, yeah. Vivian is know. staring at that panorama. Do you guys even have psionics? Uh, there are a few. Huh? There are some capes on my world that have. Of kinesis for fire, oh! air, ah. water. Oh wait, so it's not like it's not like this. And she holds out a hand, and her bag floats up, held up by a halo of what looked like of green and blue, basically lightning. So I, I just than realized this, something. I'm guessing the menu music is still playing, not the bass music. <laughs> <laughs> Good job. Yeah. I'll fix that. Excellent, Jake. Excellent. So, is it like this or something else? Except she picks the bag up with it her hands and puts it back varies. on over her shoulders. Between cape to cape. Huh. Yeah. Some people can only, some capes can only shoot blasts. Some can just increase or decrease the amount in an area. Oh! Akora looks around and then suddenly, like, jumps. Jumps in what? Something. Jumps. Like jumps in terror. A clear terror. What's like, and that makes really And that makes Sosa jump too because <laughs> if, and then she pulls if, uh, her sword out back again and her eyes start and her glasses start sparking. He like, I, settles I, into I, the sense of stamp. You I did just, not uh, tell uh, me this place is a violent one's home. What are you a, talking about? A what now? Violet one! Why why are we even I am a why, why, why are what do one of you be are one of you are you people violet one? Am I about to get cold here? I'm what is it? Oh God. You don't even know what a violet one is. Oh we're all gonna die. Yeah. I'm going to I'm, roll for Zykora here. here. Oh. Zykora here. notes oh, that the material is not any material she can identify. And she'll be able to identify the normal building instructions of a violet home. Wait, I, wait, I, I look around. I look around vaguely. I'm like, cars. what? What is? What, what's the matter? Dead, what are you jumping at? Not. What is happening? Oh, wait! So hard to explain. Alternia, Alternia. Look, we're aliens, and he. Uh, um, I, this would be a lot easier if my eyes weren't like they are. But on my planet, everyone has a different blood color. I'm gold. Uh. My blood is literally golden. Okay. That's violet cool. blood, That's... which is pretty much the same color as um, this place, are the, literally the second highest on the hemo spectrum. And if, if one of them saw me in their house, I would pretty much instantly be cold, no matter what was going on. Well, cold? Okay. I, cold? I thought I explained this well enough, have... but we're not we're not on Alternia anymore. We we're don't know where Alternia is. We're we're nowhere. 
Here, f follow me. I I, I say I, I, I walk. Here, here. We are literally in a place. I'm sorry. Just I panicked for a minute. I've. I, 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 I walk up the ladder and and uh, uh, gesture for Zykora to follow me. Zykora will slowly the follow. The sparks around her, the blue and green sparks around her, are clear. Are very bright right now. Sosa right. starts panicking and wonders if she should raise a shield. She's never seen anyone this bad at magic. <laughs> orientation. <laughs> yeah, things can get crazy when magic goes out of control. <laughs> All right, so everyone go. Does everyone go up to the top room to have a nice look? Mm -hmm. Yes. Are we up? Are okay. we up top or are we going up top? All that's out. Are we going up top or in the middle? Top. You guys were in the middle oh, to begin with. All right, Jim. Would you care to describe what's All up at right. the top? All right. The top of the room, oh, for those who haven't heard it before, is a dome. The top of a sphere. You can see the t you can see the side view of the entire area of home base here. Mm. Your main area is here in the middle, and this domed area is at the top. And the domed area, aside from a little circle of material on the top that keeps you from looking straight up, uh, it's mostly solid glass. That shows the swirling fractal patterns and stars of the strange itself outside. Ever changing, Icora. ever roiling, and giving you a slight headache because it's just impossible to look at. Ikora stares at it, clearly in awe. This! Um, I, I just. Face! I, I, I just. You're right here, not on Alternia anymore. Uh, I'm sorry, I kind of panicked, but. Did one of you ask about culling? This how do I, you have different so blood colors? I, I don't know. It's science. I'm, I'm not a medicaler. I'm just, I'm just a gold blood psionic slated for the helm. <laughs> I said, but anyway, I gesture towards the uh, the strange. I'm like, this is the strange. Currently, our objective is to figure out what the heck it is. So maybe we can figure out how to start navigating where we're going instead of jumping at random. Supposedly so on a what is it, Arden? Nauseous. Over in Arden, one of the worlds we do know exists, and you know, pretty easy to get to and back from. We uh, we heard about the uh, if you go to the edge of that world, apparently it has an edge. You can just look out and see the strange. So that's that that's so currently weird. our uh, our assign our uh, current like main objective, other than you know, stay alive. You also oh, have the goodness. coin. Oh yeah, and the and and the coin, so we can hop to another dimension. But you know, we we could either you know just randomly hop dimensions, or we could try to get some information on the strange from the edge of Arden. Vicora <laughs> is still staring out at the so strange, what? but about so what? we can try okay, to get because she doesn't want to get a worse headache than she already has all the time. Um, Sosa is about ready so. to throw up because she can't stop staring at the spiral, but finally turns away. <laughs> um, <laughs> I this think is not magic. So, is so what? Get information or what? Really? So I we might can... really, I might really be free from the hell. I might not. I'm get not information from the surface or what? Or not... we can hop to another dimension. We got, we got, we got like, I, I, I hold up the. Uh, the thing for uh, Arden, the, the jackal, uh, ja the jackal statue. And suddenly, Sosa is very curious now. Oh yeah, Sosa and all the people who haven't seen it before feel the vibration of Arden's signature in it. Ooh. Dicora, Ooh. oh my it. goodness, Ooh. what is that? Dicora is that... notices it, but isn't she isn't Magic. paying attention? She's just kind of muttering to herself, and. <laughs> You can so tell that thinks it's magic. her eyes are wide enough, are wide enough that you can see like a glimpse of her eyelashes above her glasses. Like she's, <laughs> she is just blown away. Yeah. I, I gesture at the the uh, jackal and say, "This is a uh, this is the uh, what it is vibration the vibration object thing for uh, the Arden Arden dimension that uh, we've been to before. It's it's pretty pretty normal enough, I suppose. I believe an apt name for it would be the anchor." Well, keep in mind, you guys. Can, once you guys have transmitted, you have the memory of doing it, so you can do it without the object. Yeah, you just need it for the first time. After, after oh, yeah. you've used the object the first time, you should just be able to just translate normally and just you know, do it. Just yeah. jump three worlds. Interdimensional magic. Yeah, it's pretty sick. 
and we have no idea if there are any side effects. But, you know, we don't really have a choice at the moment, because there's nothing uh, here. There <laughs> kind of was. Oh, yeah, those side effects. But those we don't need to worry about. We, we don't know if there's any permanent side effects. <laughs> oh. Should we explain that to them? So yeah. they don't go in blind? We should. Yeah, probably. <laughs> when we transition between worlds, your forms will change to, to suit that to, world. To, yeah, to match the world. Look, I'm... Uh, I, I, I mean... At this point, like I don't a really... At this point, I don't <laughs> actually care that much. I'm just happy that I'm not going to be turned into a living battery. So, okay. Oh my. Your world sounds I worse do. than mine. Yeah, my <laughs> world is really, really bad. Okay, get, you know what? Get, let me give you a quick lesson on the horrors of our planet. So there's a 12 color blood spectrum. Well, it's 11 now, but that's not, a, I guess, technically, whatever. There's a blood <laughs> spectrum, and the, the highest on there is fuchsia. One fuchsia rules the empire, the Alternian Empire. It spans galaxies. And the thing is, if you're a low blood like me, which is burgundy, bronze, gold, sometimes olive, depending on who, how you're counting, you can just get killed for anything. And getting cold is being killed. As in, oh no more gosh. living for me. Burgundies, they could be killed by anyone. Killed by anyone. For any reason. A high blood could just walk up to my house and slaughter me for no reason whatsoever just because they felt like having some fun. I Lucis was killed by one of my roommates, and I killed her for it. Ah. I was slated what? to become a living battery for a ship for my power. Ah. Uh, yeah. So I so think she's gonna be sick again. <laughs> that, 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 that's bad. Very uh, bad. Yeah. It's, it's the kind a of reason humor. I'm happy I'm gone. I have. And I have nothing point. there. Because, sort like, of I said, society was should. killed. Do you come? This is horrible. It's horrible. Oh, it is. Where does red I'm just happy I'm not there this? anymore. I don't think you would know Why to ask that question. A... Uh, yeah, never mind then. You, yeah. And if I turn into a... If I end up turning into a fucking meow beast, it'll be better than Alternia. <laughs> so! Good gracious. I guess at this point, the question becomes, do you guys go to Arden, or do you go to the new place? I have adventures for both. Uh, uh, I'd like to walk a bit around in fresh, fresh air. It's feeling a bit stale in here. I like the open road and I like the open fields. And I also I looks out the window at at the strange spiral pattern really fast and says, quickly sit, looks away. Anywhere is better than here. Ikora shrugs slightly. At this point, I'm just gonna... Uh, whatever. When you still have to choose which place to go. I, I can't just say, oh, flip a coin and figure out where you go. You guys can figure that out. Oh, boy, so we, I do believe you guys already you and know I what need... that place is. I'd be happy to check out the new place. Yeah. I mean, knowledge is power. Well, yeah. technically, well, power is power, but knowledge yeah. is nice. And, and Tycoon and I both need uh, more uh, advanced like technologies than the uh, Arden will uh, provide for us so we could uh we could try out the new zone see if that see if that uh, does anything let's see if this one all right so to keep do we have armor. to blow something up to get there or do we have to zap it what how do we get there you have to sit calmly and focus <laughs> oh meditation I thought oh, that, great. Or that some spells work better when one's meditating yeah. Anyways, I uh, I pick up the uh, coin. It's I, uh, it's a got it's got a red light in the center that blinks every now and then. It looks like it's got circuitry in it. Yeah. All right. Here's our uh, vibration object. Everyone can sense the vibration. Yeah. Yeah. I yeah. The core right. nods. Now we uh now we uh, all focus on that vibration. Uh, link in a big old <laughs> circle of uh yeah circle circle, because you know. That's like how holding stuff hands? Is done. I suppose that would work, yes. <laughs> Any physical oh, this works. is a convergence! Yeah. I know this. Um, then we just, you know, um, sit here for four hours and then uh, away we go. 
Do we know? Four hours? Four hours? Yeah, we've watched other people trans translate before, Tykin. Uh-huh. Uh, people just sit there and then zoom. <laughs> zip. Oh, well. Great. All the things it could have been. It had to be sitting and focusing for four hours. <laughs> It Although possibly it will like be a nice it's change. It's not I'm as sure bad as it sounds. It's it not is. as I'm bad not as sure. it sounds. Although maybe it'll be a nice change. I'm not sure I've ever had enough like safety to be able to do that before. So, <laughs> I guess we could try it well, if right. it'll get us out of here. Mm -hmm. Let's let's go back down to the main area and uh, gather some uh, supplies real quick, and then we'll be uh, on our way. So I go back down and gather around the. Stuff I want to bring with me. <laughs> All right, uh, Tycoon is going to bring her tools. Slightly. I have no idea what any of this is, and I don't know what I would bring, so I'm just gonna have what I have on me. <laughs> that's fine. That's fine. So, so uh, was basically just reading a book at the time, so her book is oh. still down there. Oh. Oh, maybe. Uh, oh. I mean, no, I don't want to be turned into that. Well, uh, we don't know what this world will turn you into. will change your shape into. Yes, we don't yeah. know, but be prepared. Be, be prepared for, the, uh, uh, yeah. The princess wasn't minds. particularly... <laughs> oh, oh, oh. The princess was not particularly clean. not a transformation. Uh, it, it, we're, we're hopping dimensions, so that's a... That adds a wrench into everything. So we're, we're hopping, and in the process of hopping, you get uh, transformed into something that can exist in that world. So you don't cause. Well, from like, what I know, trolls can panic. literally can exist most places. Yeah, well, you know. And again, we don't really fit in anywhere except Alternia, so I get your point. Yeah. <laughs> Alrighty. So, for those of you who think waiting four hours is going to be a problem, it's not at all. The moment you start, it feels like time bleeds away into nothing. Akora is. Still bored somehow. You're bored for all of like <laughs> what you perceive to be five seconds. <laughs> Perfect. No. So, so, like bored for five seconds so oh look, the free. magic, the, the magic of time skips. <laughs> awesome. The, the warp takes your minds. You all feel like you're one, and slowly you feel like your physical form bleeds away until you can see nothing but the fractal patterns of the strange around you, and slowly that bleeds away to reveal. A rather desolate and bleak looking existence. Oh boy. Oh boy. Oh, oh god. So, oh, yeah. I'm not going to actually say it, but I really want to have the chorus say, Oh, it reminds me of home! <laughs> Is this what happens when the sun and moon calls you? Alright. Play new theme. Uh, no, this is what happens when, um, when I blow something up. Uh, but that's not important. <laughs> okay. So. Ooh. Oh, techno beat. All right, so you appear like on a wasteland, but it's not your traditional wasteland made out of cracked rock and scorched earth. Instead, it's bits and pieces of metal from massive buildings that have collapsed. Oh, boy. There's dark uh. char everywhere. The sky, it's midday, but it's slightly green rather than blue. Cora... Ah, but I haven't described what any of you look like yet, have I? Oh, oh go ahead. Yeah, remember, before we get to do anything, we need to get this out of the way. So, <laughs> new world, new translation. Uh, I have the code name for this world is Cataclysm, but literally no one will call it that. So, uh, it, fun. I'll just put it down in my notes. Okay. Uh, since you're first in the order of my document, Sosa, you get to learn uh, your Cataclysm form first. Oh, boy. Do you, I add it on to... Uh, I will add it on uh, as soon as we're done here. Myself. Oh, okay. I have copy-paste privileges. <gasps> copy-paste. So, you become a young human, Sosa. However, your entire internal structure is filled with digital components, effectively oh, making wow. you a cyborg. The only way to notice this from the outside is to see the circuitry in your left eye's iris that occasionally glows. Now, you're fully aware of all the metal bones you have. Oh, boy. <laughs> You lose all your fairy racial attributes, with the exception of magic sense. 
which now can detect radiation and other mutant abilities. You no longer have control over bubble kinesis, and as such, have a different focus. Projects Bubble. energy. The mechanical Ooh. parts inside you passively store up energy until you can release it. This significantly improves your onslaught technique to emit energy, which deals five points of damage, and you also have plus one armor due to having a mechanical skeleton. Oh, cool. Oh, dang. That's of course, cool. she's going to freak out. Yeah, of course she's going to freak out. No. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Tycoon's abilities are going to change not at all. <laughs> all right. Uh, Thunder Gale. In Cataclyst, yeah. uh, you, well, you're not a pony anymore. You're a seemingly normal human, which uh, is shocking enough. <laughs> all right. Anyone looking at you from the back can see two utterly magnificent wings poking, poking out, brimming with a soft green aura. You lack all your Pegasus attributes besides flight, and your wings in this world are so magnificent you have an automatic skill in all flight tasks, regardless of any detriments you may have had previously. In fact, your new focus is has sprung wings, and in the future can be trained to provide masterful control over flight. As of right now, it just adds plus three to the flying skill. Right, uh, focus, big wings, plus three, two, all... GM's, uh, GM's copy-pasting it into your, uh, document. Sheet. Yeah, I'll, I'll put it in your sheet it. later. You'll have full access to everything. Suki! Right, uh, cataclyst form. Why yeah. no, Tycoon first. Tycoon cataclyst form. Hold on a sec, did oh. I skip someone? Oh, did I? I forgot. No, I didn't forget. That's right, just out of where. Uh, yeah, okay. Tycoon cataclyst form. You function exactly as you do in your normal form, with one notable exception. Your armor is integrated to your body and cannot be removed without killing you. Cool. <laughs> you this are the armor. armor. This provides almost no functional change, and your armored gloves have exactly enough dexterity to continue tinkering. Yes, this means you are effectively cyborg. <laughs> <laughs> Huzzah! Suki! Cataclyst form. You are still a human, though you have a mutation that makes you secrete orange slime continually. Nice. At will. Man becomes slime. <laughs> at will, as an action, you can summon an orange slime. <gasps> oh my. Not that it would do much. <laughs> oh, yeah, I know. <laughs> otherwise, all your technology works as intended. Your slimes look more unhealthy and mutated in this world, but are otherwise normal. And still happy, to, despite their deformed nature. They're happy. Huzzah. All right. Vivian. You ready for this? Bum, bum, bum. Uh, Ready for this when I woke up this morning, I think. <laughs> All right. He's born ready. <laughs> you are still human, though you have several itchy mutations under your clothing that manifest as red, thorny skin that has no practical or detrimental effect besides being itchy. <laughs> your, he gets nothing no. for <laughs> Your boomstick functions exactly as it does in default. However, once again, you do not have access to your semblance, the focus, and instead have rejuvenates the infirm. You seem to have a natural ability within you that repairs flesh at the cost of causing yourself pain, but dealing no damage to yourself. This manifests as the ability to rebuild tissue, and you restore 1d6 points to one stat pool of any creature, difficulty to intellect task. Repeated oh, healings yeah, increase the difficulty of it done on the same day. You become a healer. I'm battle, I'm battle angel Alita now. <laughs> Ooh, I love okay, Zykora, you're the last one. And by the way, yours is the most complicated. <laughs> so, you are no longer a troll. Of course not. You're not a human either. Oh boy. <laughs> but instead, you are some kind of mutant cockroach creature, creature called oh. the Catalyst Roach. <laughs> oh right, because trees are insects. You're a Cataclyst Roach. This changes your focus and your race, constituting an utterly massive change to what you are. As a Cataclyst Roach. <laughs> You itch all the time, and you naturally oh cause mutations in other just by others just by contact. Have fun. Oh boy, this so, is gonna be real fun. Cataclyst roach, <laughs> roach racial attributes. Uh, exoskeleton provides you three armor. Natural weapons deal four damage, but also have a secondary effect of causing harmful mutations in those you hit. Uh, sun hating minus three to all tasks when out in sunlight, which is right now. That is. All right, cool. Same as uh, normal. Shielded. Immune to effects of radiation. Awesome. As for your focus, <laughs> it is now controls mutations. If developed, <laughs> if developed, it can allow for immense on-the-fly bioengineering, but right now all it provides is this. The ability mutation selection that costs two int. 
When in the presence of radiation, you can choose to create any minor effect, such as restoring stats in a pool, getting a temporary edge, or developing mild heat resistance on your body. This mutation you've created is temporary, and will atrophy and fall off in about an hour. You can also use this when you are creating mutations in others through your attack. Though if a target is willing, you only need to touch them. This mutation you create in this way can have either a positive or negative effect. Your choice. Yes. Oh my. Alright, no, uh... She can warp people. Can I yep. still talk? You can still talk, yes. Right. Okay, by the way, okay, so, Duke, uh, handle initial reactions while I do a copy-pasting. Okay. Alright, well, Tsuki's initial reaction is to just look at the ooze that is in between her fingers and stretch it out a little bit and go, ah, well, that's interesting. And then she looks up at the group and goes, oh, my. This is quite uh, the group. Taikura. Like, let's just go in a circle after Tsuki. Right. That's Vivian. What's Vivian's reaction to this? Um... <laughs> Vivian is itching uncontrollably, and it bugs him a lot, so he kind of does his magic mic and uh, starts taking off his cloak and his <laughs> overcoat and his three other shirts that he has underneath because he likes to stay warm. And uh, he is basically, he has his fair skin showing. He's pretty muscular and formed. <laughs> and uh, there's the little red thorn things, and he is looking at these very intently and thinks this can't be the pox. <laughs> <laughs> mm. then, uh, uh, then next is Tycoon. Because <laughs> uh, okay. I thought about this like, and Tycoon's armor has because she's normally very under the armor she's normally very thin but since the armor's not integrated with her her quote unquote assets have been Expanded a bit. <laughs> so she is currently just examining herself. <laughs> Alright, Thundergale. This is just all one. What are these beings? What? Where? What? 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 <laughs> Thundergale uh, just blew screens of death and is incredibly confused, screams all over the place. And has no idea what is happening. <laughs> Alright. Yeah. Zykora, what's your Zykora reaction to be the order. cockroach? Let me just go in order. The first thing Zykora does is panics for a moment when she realizes she's in sunlight. She then realizes, wait, no, it's just harder to see now. This is fine. Um, I'm not burning to death. She then realizes she's a giant cockroach. There's a moment of panicking that, um... Oh, by the way, like, wait, giant cockroach the human I... face. What? Yo, oh, that um, that is terrifying. Yeah, like an people... anthropomorphized yeah, cockroach yeah, yeah, or just a like, giant cockroach? Let her finish. Um, she has a moment of like, wait, I'm not gonna be able to move around. I have no idea what I'm doing. And then she remembers, and then cries, and she realizes, wait, no, I both still remember how to do this from a grub, and also I just know how to do this now. Great. Um, and then she just kind of rolls her eyes. Oh, wait, do, do I still have my glasses? Sure. <laughs> Alright, cool. Our big roach with glasses. <laughs> she, um, you can't tell, but she is... You can feel that she's rolling her glasses. Eyes, because, of course she is. <laughs> um, so she is... She rolls her eyes, um, and just kind of... It's just gonna get her around a little bit to make sure she still knows how to do this. Since trolls start out as grubs. Which means she's naturally... Which means she started out with six legs. Nice. So she's trying to figure out if she still remembers how to skitter. Yep. Uh, all right. Because the bodies automatically have instinct in them, if you had any previous memory, you have no issue at all. Yeah. All right. And Sosa. She knows how to skitter. Yes. Sosa. She, so she is the wasteland around her and wonders if maybe they were better off in the giant sphere thing. <laughs> sphere room. And then she realizes her body is totally different. She can't feel her magic. She and promptly freaks out along with Void for a second, though not as loud. <laughs> uh, with uh, Thunder for a second, though not as loud. And like, what just happened? Why can't I feel my magic? Well, I'm assuming it's something about the same reason that I'm literally a giant cockroach with a face. And, and I say congratulations! You have finished your first translation. 
You oh, now have your uh, your forms for this world. Take a second oh, to get accustomed to them. The these oh, are the entirely the temporary. The insect? Yeah, I you to... I did the Korra. Um, <clears throat> the At least yeah. I don't remember how to move with six lines. Yeah. That's one so these, uh, these forms are entirely temporary, by the way. As soon as we translate back to the uh, hub, we'll uh, return back to normal. And if you want to do that at any time, just, you know, think about think about no vibration in the same way you thought about the vibration to get here. And that'll uh, that'll start the translation process to get you back to the hub. <laughs> I'd like to make two notes out of character. The first one, um, no one commented on the fact that apparently Zykora has previous experience with um, bug. Um, second thing you I'd like to know is that, that Zykora is both panicking and laughing. She's not <laughs> laughing out loud, but she is laughing in her head at everything. She's panicking and laughing at the same time. By the maniacal way, laugh uh, out, fantastic. Meta I reasons. Mean, she's uh, not laughing out loud. And it's not maniacal. But you guys are now down here in the uh, in-world section of the board with your symbols. Okay. Yeah, underneath the uh, red line with all the symbols on the left. Is it Cora yeah. an anthropomorphized cockroach, or is she just a full-on giant cockroach? Uh. Here, I have an image of. Something so I ha it's I have an image directly from the the uh, world's uh, informational section. Just give me a sec. Oh boy! Oh boy! Oh boy. Show oh, us! Bear. Show us cockroach! All right! Hey! Oh boy! Cataclyst oh, roach! Something like this! Ah! That uh, is that is that, whoa! <laughs> that is freaky! That is, that is oh, I don't like that. That's that's awful. Uh, and also, you get to remember that it also has mirrored double-colored <laughs> glasses. <laughs> That's an image. But it's not maniacally grinning, like a ter and it, but it's not terrifyingly grinning. <laughs> anyway, that is a cataclyst okay. roach. Oh, uh, I'm traumatized for life. Thank you. Uh, I thought you already were. Gee. I'm traumatized so... multiple times today. I will say one thing though. As soon as Fonda Gale gets her bearings, she's going to scream again and surprise. <laughs> and then be so he wants more. <laughs> Anyways. Alright. So the wasteland spreads out. Charred bits of metal everywhere. The sky is slightly green. You all get the impression this place is a little unhealthy, except for you, Zykora. You seem to be healthy here, <laughs> except it's sunlight. I am also fully encased in armor. Yeah. I am armor. You are armor. Uh, speaking of which, if I, <laughs> like, the tap the armor, does it feel like I'm tapping my skin? Yes. Wow. Interesting. So. <sighs> Welcome to Cataclyst. Fun times. I fun will point out, Zora, not Zora, why do I want to say Zora? Zykora is still a bug. She didn't like an an ugly a bug. She just became a buggier <laughs> bug. So, you, you, so I, I, whenever I make up these uh, alternate forms, I generally go with, what is the similar or closest to similar thing this world has to them? Usually it ends up just being a human, then I'm like, wait a minute. I could do Zykora this. Zykora is already a yeah. I can do this. Like, is an insect alien. Oh. That means, like the mirror in my mirror and my cockroach of doom. Actually, this is awesome. I'm not gonna lie. This is awesome. Yeah, this <laughs> is saying it, but she... It's a little awesome. <laughs> it's a little. Hey, her, si her ever-present psionic headache has been replaced by itching. Yeah! Hey. <laughs> she, has, she hasn't decided if it's better or worse yet. <laughs> Oh yeah, I forgot gold bloods always have headaches. That No, that's old well, she has a headache for a different reason, but Solox had headaches because doom shenanigans. She has headaches ah. because she's not actually because she's not oh, actually. I will note that, that even though the sun feels uncomfortable to you, it's not killing you. I'm heading, yeah. yeah what's like the that? temperature here? <laughs> 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 Okay, oh, I'm gonna put this in front of the recording to see just to show that. Just... I gotta get that on the recording. Show what? The recording. Oh, come on, I can't. Look in, look in the OOC chat. Look in the OOC chat. Look at this thing! 
<laughs> it works! Perfect! <laughs> Why have you I done this? That. Why have you done this? Makes you. Probably correct. <laughs> <laughs> When that that's both like correct, but also why have you done this thing? <laughs> like yes, but why? Why? Yes, but why have you done this thing? Uh, why not? Ah, fair enough. I get to finally go to GM setup and realize and uncover one of the black boxes that has the stuff for this side of the adventure. <laughs> nice. <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right, so uh, so now for the first time today, we get to make some rolls. Oh my! Oh. Everyone, everyone, roll perception. Uh, I okay. have a negative. Oh. Let's go. Uh, what was it? What was it? Uh, I only know how to do it. Paper. Okay, so everyone who uh, uh it's you t either type into the box. Uh, let me just. No, I'm just so you either you type that in the box, or you go to the left and click the dice icon and hit D20. Alright, got it. If oh, you want yeah. to be really fancy, you can program the game to do it with the pick oh. button, but... Oh, wow. Oh my. Wow. Oh, oh D Thunder, you rolled 20, not D20. I mean, well, GM, you oh. typed in the code wrong. It's D20. Thunder just rolled 20. <laughs> um, yeah, this. This. This is what I meant. Do I get any bonuses? Or... <laughs> Alright, so... Funny. Here's how rolls in the overworld work. Everybody, shush! <laughs> Here's how rolls in the overworld work for anyone who hasn't done it already. Uh, you uh, slash roll d20, get your number. If you have any skills on your sheet that say perception under skills, you get plus three. Which, uh, it's like, has minus three. <laughs> yeah, I also have a minus I three. Unnatural five. one! Okay. Negative perception, a, a buddies. Roll. Let's go. Okay, so uh, uh, perception, perception. I just have okay, minus okay, three. So, uh, I'm looking for Vivian has it. Yeah. Suki doesn't so, have it. So that, I that should actually be eight. I got a one. Got you know, add a uh, well, eight isn't enough. Uh, oh, I have fif perception. 15. I have perception. You do? Uh, yeah, it's it's a. Uh, Wait, so you rolled yeah. eighteen plus three? Mm-hmm. A twenty-one. 21. That's a good roll. Congratulations, um, Sosa! You have seen everything. Uh, <laughs> what? You've seen all. What? Y'all? Oh, what? You're, you're spaced the... out. Anyway, so. Uh, uh, do I write that down in my journal somewhere? No. Well, I mean. Oh. You don't need to. I just said you saw stuff. I'm gonna explain what it oh, is. Oh, okay. So, Thunder and Sosa rolled high enough to high enough to succeed. So, uh, I'll, there's nothing really. To see. I just wanted you to note that there is a smoke coming up. Not like fire smoke, but a uh, chimney stack smoke. If there's a village towards the east. Oh. Oh. That looks like a city or something. Someone who is doing, well, something over there. So I say, well, yep, that that'll be our destination as soon as we uh, get our bearings around us. Everyone, everyone, uh, not panicking, having a oh, mental breakdown, you water. know. Caught. That's everyone. Also, everyone is having a number how to walk on six legs. I don't think so. I can even okay. transform. I mean, there's everyone. Everyone is panicking. Everyone is having a mental breakdown right now. Everyone has been, you know, throwing into these things. Like, I'm what are these things? Out. What are I'm these tubes that I'm used to be? And why am I? Why do I? Why am I? Why am I meant to walk on two legs? <laughs> I'm panicking, but I'm not having I a can, I definitely can't now. transform. Oh, so, black I, here. Oh, dear. Oh, dear. So I walk up to Thunder and say, you might feel uh, more at home trying to uh, fly, and I gesture at the wings on either side. Yeah, that's the thing. Mm -hmm. I don't fly. My wings, my Pegasus wings, are frankly not good. I can hover, and that's it. Well, well, you I'm have very saying, low hover... wings now. Maybe yeah. give it a shot? Yeah, it also looks like yeah. uh, it might be easier for you than the, the walking on two legs thing. Yeah, that's a good point. Yeah, Fonda takes... Fonda begins to flap her wings and hollows a few inches above the ground. It is as smooth as butter and it's the easiest flight you have ever experienced. 
Oh, thank heavens. <laughs> thank sun and moon for that. Well, I say, well, you practice with that a little bit. I'll uh, go check on the others. And I check over at Sosa and uh, Zykora. Zykora... Zykora, like, moves a claw and then remembers she doesn't have hands. Yeah, I'm good. <laughs> was Sosa's trying to uh, see if she... she remembered she couldn't. Sosa's trying to find some trace of her magic. She can feel an energy, but it's not her magic. Yeah. She's not quite sure how oh. to react to that. By the way, if you all want details and new abilities, you can check it in your character sheet now. All of them are there. All right. Ah, he's yeah. asked, are you guys fighting this thing? <laughs> <laughs> what? We are this thing. In the OOC, Thornton is uh, asking a great question. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going while we wait. I'm going to grab my bio and I'm going to put it into the character sheet because uh, I never sent it to you. Oh, that's fine. I forgot about that. Okay. <laughs> uh, All right. So, which, uh, please just punch with our current form. Yeah. Please just Fanta. Please just Fanta. <laughs> <laughs> can't really tell what Zykora is thinking because she's a giant cockroach. You have a face. You have a face. I'm frown. Oh, Sosa is frowning. She... Mm -hmm. Zykora is... She doesn't really have any sort of telling expression on her face. If you were trained in cockroach body language, you would know she is <laughs> and excited. But you're not. <laughs> so... so I, I, I asked Zykora and Sosa, I'm like, you guys good? You guys ready to, ready to go? I gesture to the uh, smoke in the distance. I say, we've got a destination to uh, walk around this dimension for a while. I suppose so. I suppose. Uh, I know. I, I look over at Tycoon. I'm like, what's up? Do we have money to buy the things that we need? Uh, all your Arden currency transferred into some sort of weird coin similar to the one you brought back. Okay. So yes, we have we have currency. You have basic <laughs> currency. Keep in mind, buying anything expensive is uh, up to my discretion. Oh yeah. yeah well, oh, by the way, I forgot currency. to mention the money yeah. thing. I just assume you guys have general money <laughs> around now. Uh, well, that yeah. an allowance. Like, Cora is new, but I also Althea gives around. allowances. I think that's how it works. I can't remember. Yeah. I just remember the girls having money to buy stuff. So they, they did. Well, here's the thing. I was trying to keep track of everyone's money separately and gave them exact accounts. And I just realized. That is a terrible way to keep track of things. Just assume you guys have money. Um, so, Zykora has some monies that translated well, uh, over to... The people who arrived recently don't have any money. The people who've been adventuring well, I mean, have money. Zykora... That's why I'm asking, because yeah. Zykora did oh. come from a planet with civilization, and also, like, it was dangerous enough where she lived that she kind of kept everything she cared about on her at all times. So. Yeah, surprisingly, money's just gone when you appear here the first time. I don't know why. It was originally a balancing issue, but now I can't change it. <laughs> well, I mean, it's not like she has pockets anyway. Yeah. <laughs> Somebody else can have anything. I don't yeah. have pockets. Uh, all the, all the adventurers oh, yeah. who have been out before have a decent amount of cash. Perfect. Oh, I don't even have hands, so... Yeah. Alright, so is them. everyone heading off to the smokestack? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, so, so, smokestack time. Okay, so the hero and group of six finally get set on the adventure. This is why we have four hours to do this. <laughs> <laughs> already been an hour and a half. Barely. Yeah, <laughs> introductions take a while. The two-hour yeah. session was nothing but introductions, basically. Yeah. Uh, uh. <laughs> I hope this doesn't bleed into the dinner time, because yeah, I don't know what the hell I'm for that. Uh, I will. Uh, four is the absolute cutoff time, which is at six for you. So, are we going there? Yeah, you're, you're going to the village. Well, it's a village. It's not constructed out of wood or brick. It's constructed out of metal plating salvaged from the wreckage and arranged in the shape of houses. Hey, question. Mm -hmm. Size-wise, how big am I? Uh, like, am you're I about a... human size, like, but hunch over and a bit thicker. All right, just checking. Mm -hmm. So no one can ride the giant cockroach. The, like, it, it, it occurs to me that, uh, depending on how this world was set up, uh, Zykora might be utterly, uh, you know, shoot-on-sight type deal. So, 
Oh, oh. Once we get, once we get closer right. to the town, we might want to leave uh, Zykora behind slightly and uh, just check around first so she doesn't Good get instantly man. murdered. I was, you know? hoping to take advantage. I was hoping to take advantage of this. <laughs> Aww, Why do you guys have to be smart? Yeah, okay. <laughs> don't worry, yeah, there'll be don't yeah. worry, there'll be a time don't when worry. we fuck it up and then you'll get to do your sadistic GMing. <laughs> yeah. Shenanigans like will ensue like one way or another. Alright, so you guys leave like a bit out of the edge of the city. <laughs> Yeah, um, once we can see like the uh, once we can see like the city itself proper, we'll just right. like leave Zakora behind a yeah, like, okay. hill so, or something. Probably a good decision because mind. there are no roaches inside the city. Just humans with various strange mutations. Like lots of mutations. Some have blue skin, some have a third arm, another eye missing an arm, have a tail. <laughs> some have cyborg parts imparted in them that are mixed with mutations. It's uh Yeah, it's not pleasant looking. As I'm on the lookout for Electronics and such stuff uh, there, on my list. There is junk pulled out of the wreckage that sometimes works. Uh, today, uh, because you guys are all players, you know immediately when you get near a cipher because the vibration is inconsistent. It stands out like a sore thumb. Mm -hmm. But uh, today you get a cipher. Congratulations! It looks like a ray gun, but it's actually a grenade. Oh. <laughs> uh, six. It, or I can also turn. Who wants ray the? Gun. Who wants the grenade? Uh, sure. I need you to know how to use this. She blew up the bar. I mean, I, well, I mean, a grenade, they sound like something I've used before. You know, the one. All right. Go, Thunder, put, it, put under ciphers, uh, the grenade gun. Uh, it actually is just a grenade, just looks like a gun. You throw the it once, uh, it deals six damage to immediate range. So it, it can hit more than one. I'm pretty sure I could turn a ray gun into a grenade, but I don't think I could turn a grenade into a ray gun. Well, here's Depending the fun thing. The if you keep the cipher around for a bit, it's going to shift between gun and grenade every time you translate. <laughs> <laughs> right. mm. Grenade! <laughs> gun! Tycoon already has a gun. She doesn't need a grenade. <laughs> so is just taking everything in nervously. Yeah. And uh, can... meanwhile, Zykora is uh, sunbathing, I guess. <laughs> no, Zykora is trying to hide like behind the, the hill and try to not be in the sun. Yeah. You find a sheet of metal plating that looks like a tent. It's, it's Perfect. Empty. She's lurking beneath the sheet of metal plating that looks like a tent. Yep. The rest of you get into town, and none of you bat any eyelashes with mutations or unusualness about you. Uh, in fact, the only one who gets unusual looks is Sosa, because she looks almost normal. <laughs> oh boy, lucky me. That makes her even more nervous. But, but no one, not good with... No one looks quite like a uh, giant cockroach creature. There are no giant cockroach a... creatures here. Actually, okay. uh, everyone roll perception again. Except for Zykora. Zykora's not here. Zykora can only see the inside of metal tent flap. Uh, e 20 right? Yep. Hey, I rolled a nat 20! Okay, uh, all other rolls don't matter. Suki wins. I win. Okay. I, um, Suki, you see a guy walking around in armor clearly harvested from cockroach skin. And, uh, ah, <laughs> I see. Uh, oh, man. I, I, point him out to the, I point him out to the group. I'm like, yep, it was good. It was a good move. Leaving yeah. Zykora outside. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. So yeah. Oh, by the way, the guy Zykora would appreciate uh, the, being dead. The guy is that the guy that's wearing the uh, cockroach armor has eyes on every single part of his skin you can think of. Oh, quality! Oh, Just covered an in eyes. An angel of the Lord. Mm. Eye guy. Eye uh, guy. Tycoon is going to go hunting angel. for components. Okay, hunting for components. Uh, you can find metal. In vast quantities, for no issue or cost whatsoever. It's just laying around. Just like any kind of metal, or just metal? Uh, just average metal. metal. Tungsten would actually require a cost, but any iron or steel, just, just everywhere. We can probably refine this. Um, Taiku will take a uh, few plates of metal and uh, put them in her <laughs> dimensional storage. Yeah, right? it's, steel is literally made, the the ground is native and the rubble is full of, so just, it's free. <laughs> Metal is no I, issue. I, uh, I take some. Sure. Gian, I, I just realized. Uh, what? I can't carry things around. 
Yeah, uh, bagger. You will assume you have like a belt or something. All right. And by the way, any items you have, any items you have, do adjust to the place uh, place the recursion. For your case, I mean, uh, most of them stay the same because this place is kind of messed up and mutated. So good luck. I mean, yeah, Thunder has what a trinket no, and a brass knuckle. I don't think Zykora can use a sword right now. Yeah, probably not. <laughs> but uh, you have natural weapons, so you're fine. All right. So uh, you're in uh, town. Uh, what exactly are you looking for in terms of materials, by the way? Besides metal. Like, Taiku needs um, just electronic components and. Yeah, that's not hard to find. Their uh, electronic components are everywhere. Most of them are not working, just busted. But you can find a circuit board with half of it missing or eaten by a, some sort of monster easy. I th like to try to look for quality components. Uh, quality components are not really going to be very common because radiated wasteland. Loso's just sticking really close to Suki right now. Uh, Tycoon's gonna go up to Suki. Uh -huh. Yeah, what's up? Uh, you said you could make some kind of fabricated device, correct? Uh, yeah, yeah, we could, we can set something up if we have the right materials, although I don't believe we'll have, uh, although we could probably find some of the materials we need here. What exactly can it make? Uh, can... We can... See, my fa the fabricator can make a variety of things, mostly related to uh, science or other things. You can make mechanical components to create any of the uh, blueprints from my, uh, from my backpack. And I uh, flip open the, uh, the science page with all the blueprints on the uh, UI of my... Uh, Backpack and just just wave at the stuff there. We got we got drills, we got pumps, we got apiaries, we got warp pads, warp conduits, we got drones. You know all st all the stuff and parts you would need for various things like this. I'm sure I could modify it to uh, make some other stuff as well. Because I I would really like to be able to tinker. And I do not have the materials to do that, so having something that I can easily produce the materials for feeding it raw materials would be nice. Yeah. yeah. Getting materials is absolutely high on priority. Although I feel like someone might want to go check on Zykora and say, yeah, stuff's bad over here. There's people wearing armor from the, from the cockroaches, so uh, yeah. I could probably fly over. You know, wings. I like them. That would probably be good. Alright, uh, Void uh, can fly over and back without an issue. Sakura is informed of uh, cockroach hunting. Yeah, looks like people hunt cockroaches here. This is a good choice to stay stay behind. Wow. What? Good to know. <laughs> Ugh. Yeah. I'm not probably... actually a cockroach, but that still is gross and makes me uncomfortable. We'll still have to, uh, you know, find the, uh, see if we can find a cockroach town, because that would be interesting. <laughs> well, that would be. That would be nightmare. That would be real cool. <laughs> and also, you guys would probably all get killed, and I would be the only one who got to go inside, so. <laughs> yeah, anyways, uh, what, what, what do we see in the town? Do we just uh, see general Mutant stuff? people, uh, yeah. stalls, and, uh, you know, you rolled a 20, uh. You're clear that the primary business of this town, which is called I Newt, mean, by the way, the town is Newt. Newt. Uh, the primary business is to go into the deep ruins, get technology, come back, sell it. Oh, there's there's ruins, deep yeah. ruins, and technology. Ah, perfect. Mm. Yeah. Uh, most of the stuff that's brought back is broken, but uh, there are always expeditions going out, and uh, the deep ruins are just uh, go out a little north. One guy will tell you, and uh, you find a hole that just keeps going down and down and down to the rest of the city that was lost. <laughs> I, I, I tap Tycoon, and I'm like, yo, that's probably where we're going to get all the stuff we need. <laughs> Sounds crazy. I mean, we could probably buy it, but, you know, getting getting money is a pain for such expensive materials as we need. Is your... Yeah. 
weapon. Yeah, that's the way to it. Get some. I, I can't hear Tycoon. What, what's up? Is your device suited for combat at all? Uh, your uh, armor? Yeah. Uh, he's talking to me. I'm like, uh, yeah, I, I can, I can, I can hold my own. I think I flick through options. Yeah, I could, I can do something. Mm. Uh oh, I broke, a, I broke a pen. Oh no. <laughs> Good job. He yeah, did it. Doing, keep doing this. All right. We don't know what we would encounter. So, mm. we want to swing back to Zykora, pick her up, and then go to the dungeon. Or do we have anything else to do in town at the moment? Does no, there appear I... to be? Does there appear to be like a, a headquarters base? Someone in charge? Uh, there is one of the guides, the master of the guide guild, and there's some guide you can guides you can hire. Ah, oh, we don't want a guide. Okay, so th this appears just to be a ramshackle town of just random people who set stuff up. Yep, trying and to nuclear take wasteland. Of... Uh, well, I'm going to, to uh, go up to one of the townspeople. All right, what do you do? Uh, this guy uh, has I... mouths on his hands. I, uh, <laughs> excuse me, sir. Uh, are there other larger settlements like this? Yeah, a ways out, I think. But this is the largest one in the area. You have to travel a long way across the wasteland. Is there some sort of core city anywhere? <laughs> core city? That's something that happened in the old days, my friend. There are there aren't any real cities anymore. You're standing mm -hmm. at what used to be one of them. Don't you know that? We're oh boy. new. New? New. You've been, you were born in, you were born in, <laughs> No one's new, this is the way the world has been for 60 years. What happened 60 years ago? Oh my gosh, just, just, are you some kind of alien or something? Or you Would you believe me if I told you I've lived in a digital simulation all my life? <laughs> hmm, you're suspicious. <laughs> hey! No, he is, no, 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 he, no, he isn't an alien. He hits his head. He's been out for. He's been out with amnesia, and we have, and he has no idea who is. Void, roll he, your he, absolute lie. No, no, he doesn't that. believe a thing you're saying. <laughs> You're trying to hide something from me. You're aliens, ain't ya? I bet you blew up these cities. Trying to act all innocent, are ya? Uh huh. I I just grabbed Tycoon. I'm like, let's go. Let's get out of here. Let's get out of here. Sosa's freaking out now. Sosa's <sighs> freaking out really big time. <laughs> I, I'm just trouble. dragging Tycoon back. Let's 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 get out of here. We don't we don't we don't need this. We don't need this at the moment. Yeah, let's, one let's guy's like, yeah, you better hard. get out. My southern accent. I have a lot of voices. I have a lot of voices. He has a lot. You can have one more. Oi. You see, no, no being unmuted. Be gone. You're now server muted. Congratulations. Uh oh. There we are. <laughs> Congratulations, you see. You have been server muted. <laughs> we'll remove it afterwards, but for now. Quiet. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so my man. <laughs> anyway, wow, all right. So, so we you guys in this direction. You guys are just gonna go to the dungeon. All right. Are you gonna pick yeah. up Zykora? Yeah, we're picking up Zykora. We're like, we'll go to the we'll go we'll go we'll go dungeoning. Zykora see if we can't get some up. shinies to set up some oh, uh, warp nice. conduits, a fabricator maybe. <laughs> And, All right. Uh, didn't maybe get, get, didn't get, get anything happen. Things. The people in the town don't look friendly. So. Well, the thing is, uh, I didn't mute you. You see, you have to appeal to Duke. <laughs> well, I did. I mean, you can. Un <laughs> <laughs> anyway, uh... he's unmuted. But my gosh, you see, we will slap the hammer on you and everyone else who does this. <laughs> Day one was the worst. How many people did we have to tell to shut up? I, I don't think many people interrupted day one. There's so many at the start. There are so many. I, well, yeah, you had to tell people to shut I up. I fumbled with my microphone anything. for a bit. Anyway, <laughs> you guys are heading down. You find yep. uh, an entrance. It looks like just a broken hatch with a ladder that goes down. Down. There. Down. 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 Uh, can I project a light down the tunnel? Uh, yeah, that... 
lets you see a little further. Yeah, so uh, oh, wait, one of the going... black sticks attachment is a, is a flashlight. All right. And I also have the infrared on my scope to see down there. Yeah, I was going you... to say that Zykora uses her psionics to light it up, but she doesn't have psionics right now. Nope, she does not. <laughs> All right, uh, the boomstick is able to show in infrared that there is a bottom, but holy cow, it's a long way down. Yeah, I don't think... I, I mean, I have wings, but that spells... It's a ladder! Ooh. It's a ladder! It's, made, it's a rung ladder. It's not a wooden rickety one. It's made like... It's like a sewer ladder. It's gonna be very, very, you know, strong. Mm. That's strong. Uh, Tycoon fine. tests it with her armored foot. It holds. How... How, how big is the hole? Uh, easily enough for the cockroach to fit in. I mean, can I, can I, can I avoid using the ladder and just, you know, descend gracefully down with the wings? Not easily, you'd have to roll for that. And how much would I get as a bonus on that roll? Uh, you get, like, the plus three for the flight that you will have, and no detriment, so... What? Skills and the focus, isn't that six plus six, or did I get something wrong in the whole... Actually, it is plus six. You have great wings. But, uh... <laughs> You, uh, you offend. it's level four task to fly down there, and it has to be slow. Yeah, so I'd have to row at least 12 with modifiers. Yep. That said, uh, climbing down means no roll, because the ladder is I... designed for this. Yeah, um, Thunder is going to climb down, clambering to the thing every single step of the way, and, uh, well, if... Your wings well, provide me... enough light to see by. <laughs> <laughs> They glow! <laughs> I you swear. glow in dark wings! I will never. Ever. I am. Okay, what, what order are we going in? We go in. We go in. Thunder wants to go first. Zykora will go last. Oh, Zykora wants to go last? Okay. The big heavy cockroach? Alright. Everyone will go hop Thunder. Everyone get in line behind Thunder. Okay. <laughs> I... I'll go after Tycoon. Will be too big. Heavy, I guess. There we go. This is the order we're climbing down the ladder in. <laughs> okay. All right. You climb down, 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 and then down, and then down some more. You start climbing so much that all the fear goes away and becomes boredom. No. For Zykora, it became boredom about five minutes in. Down, down. Your arms are starting to get a little tired, but you know the ground is coming soon. Down, I should down. Have so, so think we should practice in gym class a bit more. Down. <laughs> well, how do you think I feel? I've never. This is this is a new body. This is a new thing. I have no idea what this is. <laughs> like horrible, like kind of slightly growl at her, but it's friendly. Yeah, I'm literally a giant cockroach. Trust me, you do not get to complain. <laughs> Sorry. Uh, how does Tycoon feel in her suit of living armor? Uh, you, you feel like your suit of living armor. You, you feel fine. This is this is normal. Nice. Okay, so at long last, you reach the bottom. Uh, question: Besides glowing wings, uh, what, what light source do you guys even have? I have a flashlight on my uh, backpack. All right. Ikora doesn't you can see it. You, you just orange. point at stuff in it. All right. I assume lighting is enough then. All right. So yeah, uh, one of my my stick has a flashlight that yeah. I can attach to it too. All right. So the it's... real question is who doesn't have a flashlight? Does Sosa not have a flashlight? No, she doesn't. <laughs> Ikora is. She knows I would like to state again, a giant bug, so she doesn't have a flashlight. <laughs> so, but you know, you're a giant bug. You're fine. Does <laughs> Tycoon's armor have? Uh, could Tycoon's armor have external lighting? Uh, sure. You have a flashlight. Congratulations. Congratulations. I have. I don't need a flashlight. All right. I'm a bug. So the room you've entered in has numerous tunnels spiraling out in every direction. Uh, it looks like it might have been some sort of concert hall a long time ago. What, some what? Nikora just says, like, concert hall? 
Yeah, it's like a concert hall. There's like but exits not everywhere. Split up because that I... will not end well. Agreed. Aren't concerts like places like big with a huge stage? Yep. You've like well, cleared the middle not... of the audience seats. Uh, yeah. Oh. Well, it's not like a. Uh, you, you, you're talking like an actual concert hall, like one of them buildings, right? Yeah. Yeah, not like not like an outdoor concert, one of them indoor concerts. But you know, it can oh. still have a lot of people. But you know. I only know outdoor concerts. Yeah. Yeah, but, yeah. Think of it as a big theater, basically. Yeah. Big theater. Oh. Sydney Opera House. Okay. Now yeah. that one, I know. Yeah. Yeah. Big okay. Opera House. So basically. There's, there's several ways to go. All of them are open. The place is decrepit, worn down, hasn't been. It's been well traveled. This is an this is an entrance, but uh, it, everything's really old. So, which way shall we go? I don't know. I mean, I would call. I can. Find f find a path, find the find a wall maybe. I mean, it could fall on the right hand wall. That's always a thing. Always yeah. a good plan to fall the right hand wall if we yeah. uh, don't have anything better to do. Do any of the paths like look different from each other? Uh, one of like, them is like a main entrance. Otherwise, not really. Okay, so would I be down. able to sense? Would supposed to be able to sense anything? Uh, you have general radiation sense, so you get a very mild tingling, but nothing spectacular. Okay. Can I... By the way, you were sensing why... a lot of stuff from the people in town. <laughs> oh boy. They're all radioactive. Hence why, she... Hence why Sosa was so nervous. Anyways, so, uh, wait. so we... Let's go down the uh, center path, maybe? Because that'll be like, you know, take us to the central area, see if we can find out some informations. Works for me. Yeah, can, can, can we... Okay. I don't Sounds know, good. A marker where we came from, you know... I, I, not I, I gesture to the trail of slime behind me. <laughs> <laughs> That'll work. That'll work. Point. You, have we been stepping on that? Point. Um, I'm pretty sure we can just, you know, get get down to whatever these jo get down to the knees and you know feel our way forward if things have to happen. Yeah. So. We want to do the main path, or go off in a random direction? <laughs> yes, all your, fonts, all your feet are covered in slime. Main path, I think. My yeah. spiky cockroach legs are covered in slime, and I do not care. <laughs> Congratulations. It's, it smells vaguely of Fanta. <laughs> um, Kaikora... Realizes it smells like Fanta. I have never smelled Fanta or Fago. Do they smell similar? Because I, because I haven't smelled Fago, so I don't know. Isn't isn't Fanta like orange flavored soda? Yes. Yeah, it is. Yeah, it is. It's, it's also great. Smell oranges. Yeah, Very good. All right. So, if, all right. I'm just checking in because I didn't because I forgot about the whole thing with Fago and purple bloods, and I wanted to. <laughs> I wanted to see if like Zykora is just scared of of Suki of Suki just as like instinct of that's a, <laughs> that is a smell that she associates with death and murder. It's uh, just one, orange, it's, not grape. Come on, it's fine. All right. Oh, it <laughs> I feel like I can't remember. <laughs> oh, here I'll look do it up. Bron look it up. Do bronze bloods count as orange bloods? Uh, I just realized. No, no, not really. They're mostly bronze brown. Bronze bloods are bronze bloods. Or brown. Yeah. Uh, Regardless, brown is orange. You guys went out the main path. A very dark shade of orange. Your attempts We're going down the main path. Your attempts yep. to keep to the right wall are going to be very useless because you come out onto a street, a very large and massive street with broken cars off on the side. Looking up, you see That's skyscrapers really tilted to the side, crashing up against a ceiling of rock and rubble. This entire Ooh. city has been buried. Ooh, nice. Oh. I just want to be, uh, I want to be gathering, you know, just raw materials as we go. Our raw materials are easy. Uh, hey, congratulations! Who wants a cipher? Who? I, I think that I was like Sosa a, that I wanted a like cipher. cipher. No, that was Junie. That was Junie. All right, Junie. You get a boomerang. Ha <laughs> ha. Specifically, a boomerang or a boomerang? Yes, an exploding boomerang. 
Yeah, a boom, a ring. I thought so. It'll deal the, right on your sheets underneath ciphers. The boomerang. It will deal three damage to any target. Automatic hit. Ooh, uh, th three di three damage auto hit. That one's nice. Yeah, because it explodes, you know. Ka boom, ka boom, ka boom, uh, right. Ka -boom so right. wait, 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 wait. This city looks old, yeah, very right. old, yeah, or at least very it wrecked. It was buried happened? sixty sixty years ago. They said, yeah. Oh, but there are skeletons yeah. everywhere. Just, just so you know. Yeah. Quality. Ah. Uh, oh. Uh, my goodness, uh, no. no. She seemed no. like that just oh, my goodness. nothing. Tycoon is too busy kind looking of look for around. components. What's wrong? Why are, so why are you guys all looking somewhere. grossed out? Why do you guys all look grossed out? And Those, what, those are bodies. Those used to be people. Yeah. No? Uh, Zykora, in it's case you hadn't noticed, more. in case you hadn't noticed, Zykora, uh, everyone else's world they came from isn't exactly as uh, murder happy right, as sorry, yours is. Not, forgot, forgot. None of you guys <laughs> have murder seen happy. Uh, I forgot. At murder happy, tycoon behind her now kind of her face because it's integrated into her. Just kind of grimaces. <laughs> murder oh. happy. Yeah. Not quite so murder yeah. happy yeah. as I chorus. <laughs> yeah. Millions of people used to. I was thinking there are literal clouds drenched in blood who make paintings on walls with said blood. Oh my. <laughs> I could have done <laughs> this. Why have you done this? It's really messed up. I, I, I would ask how you're still sane, but you're clearly not. So. I will. Millions of people <laughs> used to live here. Now... I, mean, I haven't personally nothing. seen a purple blood, because otherwise I would be dead, but... I hear stories. And uh, Vivian's gonna go up to the skeletons and search for any loot residue from them to see if they had anything on them. Uh, the Cora will join him. Uh, you, you, there's residue and stuff. Uh, you guys have been finding materials for a while. Uh, let me see if you find a cipher or something. No cipher for you. What? So what? We can we all get to row now? No, I was uh, uh, only Atomic was looking specifically. Oh. I've just made a decision about what he found. I'm looking for uh, technical components. Uh, technical components. Uh, you have found what appears to be a, a fully functional computer, except it doesn't have a battery pack in it. No uh, power supply. Akora lights up oh. at seeing that. Hey, hey uh, we, if any we, of you guys can, if you, any of you guys are really good with technology or something, um, you might be able to adapt it so that I could power it. I mean, psionics are basically just like a bunch of electricity, so. Could probably boot it up somehow, yeah. Uh, Tycoon. Because, yeah. uh, I, I, like, I think Tycoon would have, Tycoon would have a, like, a cable that she can extend to connect to things to power. Yeah, them. but you don't have uh, hmm, power supply. I mean, yeah, you can you can turn it on. Go ahead. We want to boot up the computer. Get the get password the... protected. Ah, uh, password protected. Uh, you want to know how to fix that? <laughs> I have. You know what? Here, I'm just going to let you do that. Yes, the cockroach is the only one with hack. <laughs> the cockroach has hack. Oh, it costs it. two ints, but you breached the password on the thing. Ikora is clearly very pleased with herself. As a cockroach. Uh, As a cockroach. So what information <laughs> is on the yeah, click, and click, 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 click. Click, 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 done! I'm trying to lower her intelligence because of the use of it. So, click, 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 done. Uh, it appears to be a personal laptop of someone named Brian. 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 Oh, my roommate. He was an accountant. Oh, uh, yeah. He has a uh, lot of spreadsheets. Tycoon doesn't care wow. about the information on the computer. She only cares about the components of the computer. So she 
Uh, uh, we, detaches... we, we wanna we wanna flick through the information for a bit. Yeah. <laughs> let's, the life let's, of Brian. Let, let's get the lore. Let's. What does Brian have to say? Let's dig through his you know his emails, his whatnot. What specifically are you gonna look for? His, e his emails? Uh, he, he had all of his emails stored on the local equivalent of Google Gmail, and there's no internet anymore, so you have no idea you're accessing uh, it. So we can't access his mail. Okay. What? Uh, what we is access there in his the search history. Files? You can access his search history. But no browsers, because I mean, Wait. you have no cookies. No, what is in the what is in the local uh, hardware storage? Uh, like in the get, actual physical? He 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 just has his uh, spreadsheets on there. What are his spreadsheets for? Uh, accounting for some business named R S Corp. R S Corp. Is there a way to figure out what R S Corp? I'm getting a yeah. Uh, vibes from that. Uh, apparently, they made tiles for like the kinds oh, you put mind. on bathroom walls. Bathroom tiles. All right. Carl will just like look at the computer. Uh, well, oh, we don't there need goes to hunt that down that place. That's not gonna. That was a waste of hacking. <laughs> I was I was hoping for something like you know yeah. RF you know infrared sort of you know. Yeah. You know, Neutral. transmitters, yeah. receivers, yeah. technology yeah. parts. You know? Zycora. Yeah. Only you roll perception. Oh. oh. Roll for cockroach. <laughs> roll for cockroach. <laughs> roll for cock. We're not in sunlight, so I just have a. You're normal. Well, I failed that. Oh. <laughs> yep. Uh, you had one chance to detect the cockroaches before they attacked you guys. Oh no! Oh, boy. The cockroaches are okay. here. Do we get to roll initiative? Oh. Do we get to roll initiative? You guys uh, get to roll initiative, but guess what? It's two o'clock, so it's also the ten minute break time. Woo! Oh, oh good, I have to go to bed I'm break. really bad. Yeah. <laughs> right, so we, we will time. be back so we'll be back right. in Roughly ten, ten minutes. minutes. So six right, minutes. I'm gonna go eat food and go to the bathroom. I I'll will be right back. How to talk about yeah. Six months. Oh, there's two. Oh. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> How many cockroaches are there? We're surrounded by cockroaches! How many cockroaches so, are say, there? Say, do they have any, um, do, do they have any, uh, can they, can they shoot things? Uh, they appear to not be holding anything. Good. Can I talk to the cockroaches, or am I the only intelligent cockroach here? Oh, they are, they are, seem to be letting off little, uh, Laughing grunts at you that are little uh, jabs and jokes. You're all going to die. You're all going to die. Like horror. And uh, to you see, uh, I guess you can talk, but no one's. I'm not going to be here. So. Yeah, yeah, I think. And, I, and I'll have to do. I'm going to get one. I'll talk over here. Hey, baby. Hey, what's up? I am really wondering what is this music? This music is amazing. What is it called? I have no idea. What's, where's he uh, queuing it from? Looks like he's queuing it from over here. It's called Eubunix Tiny Space Horses. There's also a doctor. It's in the bot command spam channel. You see? Oh, I see. Yes, you see. <laughs> yes, yes. I'm back. What did I miss? Not much. Oh. Access for bathroom break ever. <laughs> Sorry. Um, I'm sorry if I'm not responding, that's just because the music is drowning out uh, the speech. Oh, I can, I can reduce it, right? Oh, there, there we go. Yeah. So, how is, how are things going? Nice. What character I am. I'm from Ruby. I'm uh, from Arm. 
Oh, warm. I I really should like read that time. Uh, ruby? What is ruby? The uh, R W B Y. Oh thing. yeah, that that thing. Yeah. Yeah. And I know that thing. I've never watched it, but I, I know it it exists. I, I watched from... the first episode. First episode is classic. <laughs> I am actually from uh, an indie game called The Return of the Obra Dinn. Huh. Or I will be. Once I enter here. Hello, Void. Hey, using. What other we get to talk voice chat yeah that's the well yeah that's the thing with not being probably because Gabe didn't want someone doing running commentary on that wasn't himself which I guess is understandable <laughs> otherwise you have all those people talking oh, up to so. <laughs> so, no. so I just I just noticed that Suki wrote down, rule for being cockroach. You fail. <laughs> I know. That's you. That's great. So, uh... What? How, how was, uh, Coltar of the Deeper as you see? Sorry? How was, uh, how was Coltar? Yeah, the, uh, the wipeout. I have... Not been paying too much attention. Uh, because. Oh, sorry. Uh, are you talking about characters or something else? I'm talking about. I'm talking about the song. Oh, this this cool. song is great. If you're talking about the song that you have posted, the music. Yeah, yeah. The, it the is cold also heart great. Papers. It is. It is certainly something. It 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 is. Definitely a different thing. Like the first song I heard by them, it was like there was like a Arabic saxophone type of sound, and I'm like, what the heck? And then it just turned into freaking grindcore, and I'm just like, whoa! Hello. I'm listening, dude. Hello. Mm. Hello. Who are we still waiting on? I don't know. Journey, I think. I, well, like, to be fair, there's still four minutes left, so you know. Yeah, I mean, we, we're not, it's not a problem, it's just we can start as soon as everyone's here. <laughs> Rule for being cockroach. You fail. <laughs> <laughs> so, how much, we're not going to be told how much health they have, well, do we? No, you don't get to see. In fact, if you don't keep track of where they are, you might forget which ones you've hit already. <laughs> well, yeah, but they're going to die at some point. Well, I mean, maybe. Maybe. You so played Cyberpunk. You, know like, you know how cockroaches are. <laughs> <laughs> what about this oh, blue yeah. cockroach? Ooh. I mean, GM, what you could do is on each token is you could put uh, oh. the little color marker on it. So, see, here's the thing. They have health bars. I can see them. Yeah, I am not going to let you see. See, for instance, uh, for instance, uh, look at this one. See, now you can see it. it it's there. See, health bar. Yeah. Yeah, I'm not gonna let you see that. Now it's gone. <laughs> I was really hoping you were gonna put numbers on that for a second. No. <laughs> that would be too easy. The cataclysm. And what I do, I do have a wonderful thing called a bomb. Well, it's yeah, a I'm gonna I'm gonna stagger you guys a little bit just because no one's ever gonna be in a line like that when they're being attacked well, yeah. by cockroach. Put Zykora yeah. up next to the computer, because, uh, yeah. Zykora, me, and uh, Tycoon are all at the computer. <laughs> Alright. <laughs> Tycoon, because she's the one powering it. I'm in the back. Welcome back. With the... I said I'm in well, the I'm... back. How <laughs> many adepts That's do we have? <laughs> Technically, I'm Explorer class, so. <laughs> okay. So... Welcome to the first large battle, I think, of this entire campaign. So we're going to have some fun here. Oh, boy. So, the basic idea is everyone rolls initiative. If you have an initiative score, just add it to your roll. 
Black Elite. Let's see. Do I have initiative skull? No, I do not. Good. Let me check. Fuck. Uh, 18. I have plus one armor. I have... It would usually be under skills. Skills. Um... Gosh, what are these low rolls today? <laughs> I've been rolled above a freaking well, 10. I didn't roll above a 10 in night. Not you guys really. haven't rolling that much. It was all role playing up until like this point, mostly. <laughs> Even on Sunday on World Trunny on my D and D campaign, I didn't roll above a ten till like halfway through the session. <laughs> I don't Ridiculous. have an issue. All right, uh, then uh, just roll a d twenty if that flat number. And that and this also has to be done for Zaykora. Hey GM. What is is oh, Jim even back? Uh, yeah, I don't think she's back. She said she was back. I, there's a. Small no, problem. That, that was speckled. They're, they're calling uh, me outside speckled. the door. Oh. Uh, just yeah. give me a minute to answer them, and I'll be right back. Yeah, I thought Junie was back. Sorry. <laughs> yeah. So what? What that was, GM? She was just saying she was gonna position herself in the back. Oh. Yeah. Well, I mean, and that was easily fixed. Something's yeah, going on. Speckle sounds though. similar. <laughs> I just think I just think it's a it's a female thing with you, Gabe. You know, all females sound the same to you. Um, no. Also, Gabe, it's so so that was saying she was in the back. It's like Cora's not here. <laughs> well, I did put Sosa in the back because I heard that. <laughs> you see, she's out yeah, here. But, she's in the back. But then, but then you shuffled Zykora and Tsuki around for no reason. <laughs> you were telling me I was wrong. <laughs> no. I mean, yes, you are wrong. But... No! <laughs> Innocent whistling. Anyway, uh, I suppose Sosa can still roll initiative since everyone else has. Oh, uh, okay. D20, right? Yep, D20, you get that yeah. number. <laughs> oh, uh, oh! Let's go. We are going to take some really. Big, massive hits. By the way, there's enough roaches here to qualify as a swarm. Fuck. Oh, crap. Uh, they're going to apply swarm rules. No. <laughs> I'm not, I'm oh, not good. up to that good. What are swarm rules? Per yeah. can. Hey, Gabe, can you, what? can you show me what immediate range is with the ruler? On uh, the immediate range turn. is generally just one square. Sometimes a certain weapon's I'll be two. So this much? Yeah. Okay. If if there's like enemies like this and you shoot between them, explosions can hit both, sort of thing. Okay. Hey GM. What? Has Sakun gotten any of her flashes of insight yet? Oh, uh no. But these aren't machines, so uh I thought they were I thought Oh okay. Uh, so thought... insight will tell you why is there a circle here? It's an immediate range explosion. Oh, uh, yeah. Uh, also, if you hold down mouse and click, you generally get an immediate range explosion as well. Boom. 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 Oh, oh, wow. Cool. Anyway, uh, you want an inside tycoon? I forgot about it. But uh, this blue catalyst roach can shoot lightning. There you go. Oh. Oh. oh yeah. Oh, shit. <laughs> Lightning bolt roach, let's go. Okay, so welcome back, Juni. Yeah, I am here now. Okay, so we all rolled initiative, thinking you were back when you weren't. I I'm sorry, my bad. Uh, it's fine. Just roll a d20, and you get that number as your initiative. Then we can start fighting. Yep. Yeah. Am I allowed roll something to high so we won't die? Are you allowed to what? Eleven. Eleven. Okay. Oh, oh so joy. Oh, let's check. Suki or Zykor, who has more speed? Uh, that'd be Zykora by a lot. <laughs> I have 13. I yeah, have speed was my dump all. stat, so... <laughs> okay, so... 11, Zykora... 11, Suki... Will I have time to turn on resonance field, or will that be on my first turn? Uh, it'll be on your first turn. Alright. Did you say you didn't have it? Okay, so... 18 is Tycoon. Uh... 8 is Thunder. <laughs> Divin is five. Sosa is three. And the roaches themselves uh, are nine. One more question. Oh, fuck me. Resonance field is an action. Right? So yeah, resonance field is an action. In trouble. So, 
So here's how this works. Everyone gets a turn and they take whatever they want to do on that turn. Usually it's use an attack somewhere on your sheet or an ability or something. Prepare for a lot of dice rolling because that's where most of it happens. Dice rolling! Woo! All right, dice so. Rolling. Um, what counts as injured, by the way? Is that when you lose one entire bar? Yeah. One entire bar is injured, two entire bars debilitated, three bars is dead. Don't lose three oh, bars. So like dead, dead. Yeah, dead, dead. Don't lose three bars. Oh, Don't lose okay. three bars so unless like, you have a necromancer. Die, die when we lose three bars. Like, yeah. we're just dead. You're just dead. Yeah. You're dead, dead. Unlike with Epithet oh, Erased, where I made an exception because uh, it was not the kind of story we're telling. If one of you guys dies, you guys just die. Oh my god. Sure. That being said, this is the kind of adventure where you can just kind of replace it with any character you feel like. Awesome. More uh, home stuff. Actually, I probably won't do more home stuff since that would oh, be. Oh crap. Alright, Tycoon. And by the way, uh, it's generally hard to kill PCs, just so you know. Yeah. Yeah, do we do, do we get do we, do we get the the overview that says whose turn it is? Alright, uh I'll just I keep tracking it here on paper because it's easier to adjust. Tycoon, it's your turn. All right, uh, uh, that's a lot of roaches, and my power is telling me that this guy shoots lightning. So <laughs> this guy mm. shoots lightning. That sounds bad. Uh, <laughs> so how much can I move? Uh, you can move about as you can move to any one of them, but you can see they'll try to stop you if you try to run towards the blue roach. Uh, how long uh, is my onslaught range? Uh, you can hit any of them with onslaught. <laughs> yeah. Oh, sweet. So, uh, I hit the cut. I hit the lightning one with onslaught. All right, roll the hit with onslaught. They're level three. So is it just one d twenty? Uh, yeah. Unless you have Unless a special for attacks, modifiers. which you probably don't. Not yet, anyway. Not all dead. Whoa! Ooh. How much damage does onslaught deal? Onslaught uh, does four damage. So you deal eight damage due to double damage. Uh, they have an armor of three, so it only takes five. However, it's a 20. So there's bonus effects. <laughs> three armor? What? <laughs> yep, the roaches. Remember, uh, the you know that Zy Zykora has three armor too now. It seems to be the same. Okay. Yeah. I have anyway. four armor, so... Anyway, you have current... You have temporarily blocked its lightning abilities. Sweet. So, I think the way this looks is Tycoon... Uh, is, uh, Tycoon unplugs from the... Uh, computer, <laughs> and then just left, uh, raises left, left. her right, right hand and just fires her weapon at the. <laughs> yeah, you cut off one of its legs. <laughs> anyway, I had to reload it's because it was loading slowly, so give me a sec. Anyway, uh, Zykora, it's your turn. Question. What? Can I tell if they would be, like, receptive to diplomacy? Uh. <laughs> You're I roll cockroach again. That's gonna be a Do I have an asset on cockroach rolling? You don't have an asset on cockroach. You're the only, you're the only one who gets to cockroach roll. You have the permission to roll cockroach. Hey, hey I'll, I'll have you know I can roll for being cockroach if I wanted to. <laughs> but you can't because you're not a cockroach. Uh, I have the ability overconfidence. I can roll for whatever I want. By the way, uh, I, 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 I did uh, change the music to battle music. Sorry. Battle music. That girl rolled a 15 on being cockroach. Okay, being cockroach. Uh, all you have determined is that they want to eat the humans, and they are not actually going to target you. Yet. Yet. Unless I, like, oh, try to start killing them. Well, that, that, yeah, you're pretty sure. Common knowledge, cockroach. Yep, that's what you want. <laughs> this is going to be a running gag. Yeah. Yeah, it is. <laughs> like tic sacks breaking up fights. Like, yep. I get this you mean tic tac breaking up fights? <laughs> <laughs> Have a break. Have a tic tac. <laughs> anyway, Zykora, what do you do? All through the keys look so Oh, wait. Hard. You wanted resonance field, the... right? Who's uh, Zykora? Real quick, are we in the presence of radiation? Uh, minor. Nothing, nothing major. Is it enough for me to do my mutation thing? Oh, you can always do your mutation thing. You produce radiation. <laughs> oh! Radioactive! <laughs> yeah, I'm radioactive. Wait, are they also radioactive. mutating radioactive? Yes, radioactive. they are. Every last one of them is mutating radioactive. Oh, oh no. Oh, this oh. is not good. Oh, yeah. fudge. 
I'm gonna turn on this shield. Accidentally like, ran into a high level Actually, world. No, I'm not. Um, <laughs> who's the squishiest person in the party other than me? Sosa. I have seven might. Oh, great. Yeah. Um, yeah. Actually, I've never mind. Sosa 10. has the metal, metal exoskeleton now, so it's actually probably Thunder. <laughs> yeah. Thunder, yeah, Thunder. Is Thunder a wizard too? Mm. No. Everyone is a wizard. Is Thunder what? Is Thunder an adept? An, a an adept? Yeah, your class. No, I think she's a warrior. Not oh, like <laughs> Thunder's a warrior? <laughs> and she's the squishy one? What? <laughs> yeah, stats Wait, are Thunder's weird. Thunder's a girl? Yeah, it's fine, it's fine. Um, and there's a girl? Yeah. yeah. So it actually appears oh. that Tycoon has the least might. <laughs> but she has armor, so... <laughs> she has she armor. Has more armor. <laughs> so, and, but she also has enough right. armor to literally just deflect their attacks. Uh, you'll have to figure out later. Uh, anyway, Zykor, it's still your turn. What are you going to do? Yes, I know. Um, who has the least armor? Let's go with that instead. Uh, least armor? That would be Thunder... And Vivian and, and Suki. And me! I have no armor. All of us have no armor. <laughs> Alright. Oh, enough. dear. Um, I'm gonna dart over to... Actually, no. I'm gonna use my mutation thing to give myself another int edge. Okay, so you get an edge and int. Uh, what is the cost of... Uh... It's two. Two is the cost. You only, you only lose edge. one? Can you apply yeah. that intellect edge as you're making it? No, but from here on out... <laughs> You now now have... it'll be free, so now I can give all of you armor. You now have yeah. an intellect edge that lasts for an hour. With that blue circle Ooh. on your figure piece. Nice. Ooh. Okay. Suki! So I'm a buff everyone. It's my turn? Yes. Okay. Let's go. Alright. I want to... I want to use plonk. What are you going to plonk? <laughs> I'm going to plonk these two over here. Plonk. What's what's plonk? Wait. Give oh, me one. Give me one second. Let me. Mike, I'm trying. To remember, I'm trying to remember what you're plonking down. I am plonking down a mosaic. Oh my. Is plonking uh, a free action? No, it's it's, an, it's uh, here. I will dupl I will duplicate it for you, buddy. Well, I I remember how plonk works. How does it work again? On the first round I use it, I plonk one item. On the second round, I plonk two. On the third round, I plonk three, and so on. Okay. Oh, uh, oh wow. Your mosaic has been plonked and takes no actions this turn, besides look sparkly. Before, aside from, does it light stuff on fire on contact? Uh, well, actually, do you want to hit one of them directly? Yes, I want to hit the one back here. Okay, uh, roll the hit. They Plunk. are level three. You miss. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, uh, now it's the roach's turn. Okay. So, Lightning Boy tries to shoot lightning and, and fails, and he's not sure why. <laughs> okay, so. Vivian has to deal with a swarm. Vivian, you have a swarm. You only have to dodge uh -oh. one attack, but it's level four. Okay, do, uh, does my speed add anything to that? Uh, let's check your sheet. I don't think you have speed defense, but let's check. Uh, I don't think so either. You do not have a skill in defense, no. Can I use the edge? Uh, that's... Thing? Okay. The edge is only if you want to use effort, which is to sacrifice your own points to make the task easier. Which I doubt you want to do. Nope, I don't. So, so just let's dodge. just, uh... 12 or higher. <gasps> And rolling. You're going. Ooh. Ooh. Oh boy. Uh, <laughs> okay. The rolls are so bad today. Roaches as a pack <laughs> deal plus one damage, so that's five to your might. Oof. Does he have any armor? He doesn't have any armor. Five to might. Ow. And uh, roll defense again from mutation. Oh no. Yeah, I'm not the only. I'm not the only murder roach who can turn people weird. You are now Ooh. mutated. You, uh, uh, uh -oh. you cannot heal might with recovery rolls. For an hour. Uh, yes. Well, someone was a healer, wasn't they? Or is that is that 
that's Vivian himself, isn't it? Yeah. Well, I guess <laughs> oh, I guess that yeah. actually means you can heal yourself with that ability. But I can't now, right? Oh yeah, you're you're in middle of combat. <laughs> <laughs> but like, no, but with the mutation, I can't, right? Uh, with normal recovery, I only specified that it blocked recovery rules. Your magic should still work. Okay. Okay. Uh, and by the way, uh, Luke, your slime has to dodge two of them. Ah, cool. So I took five? Okay, one takes a hit. Oh. Uh, they deal four damage. Uh, slimes do not suffer negative effect from mutations, because... Slime. Yeah. Slime. <laughs> slime. Okay. They are mutagenic. Weirder they can get. All right, Thunder, you have one on you, the last one. Yes. Uh, I can't just, you know, fly up and then go, screw you, I'm... Not until your turn. I... Fuck me. You get hit! <laughs> okay. My Only four damage when they attack as units. <laughs> But, uh, you are going to lose recovery to intellect! Well, I'm, I'm about to say, what do I use intellect for? Uh, am I immune to the, like, mutating effect of the cataclysm roaches? Because uh, I'm also a cataclysm roach? You think so. Okay. But that implies well, you can't mutate them. when they hit you. Uh -oh. yeah, that, that implies <laughs> you can't mutate <laughs> them, though. Yeah. I can still claw their faces off. Oh, that's easy enough. Okay, so uh, we'll only do one point of damage. Hey, Thunder, now it's your turn. Yeah, is there... I don't want to get mutated. Is there a piece of... Is there a piece of... Is there a pipe nearby or something? Pipe? A pipe, a baseball bat, something, you know... That You're an underground really city. If you want to fly up, you can just fly up. There's no roof, really. That's yeah, true. I'm flying up. Okay, flying <laughs> up. Is that a free action? Uh, that's actually, you can disengage to avoid letting them attack you. Uh, do you have something else you can do as an attack? I don't think so, nothing that high. No, no and be, no, all my attacks on melee. I don't think that's a very good idea to do. So, you're now flying up there. Congratulations. Oh, wait, Resident Evil is, is, no, I mean, is, is there, is there a thing, is there a big, bowl, is there a boulder somewhere or something that I could, you know, pick up and drop? <laughs> uh, yeah, drop them. I will remind you, you have ciphers. Oh, yeah. you have the grenade. <laughs> yes, I have the grenade gun. So if all of you could, you know, move them into one easy to access area. Ooh. Ooh, maybe I could get them all to come attack me by shouting how I'm a traitor to their kind and I've sided with the humans. <laughs> <laughs> that work. Question, I'm if I'm attacked by lightning next turn, because I feel like that's a possibility, uh, can I use flight to avoid it? You can always attempt to dodge. <laughs> yes, but can I dodge with bonuses for flight or something? Uh, sure, plus three, I, I guess. But remember, we should usually wait until you actually get shot with lightning. Yes, I'm not going to do it now. I just want to know if I can anyway, do it. Uh, since you're uh, now in the air and you can't seem to think of anything to do, we're going to have to move to the next turn. Vivian, you are outnumbered. Yeah, so can I run and shoot or do I have to... Or is that two separate actions? Uh, you can do a short backup, like one square and shoot. But, yeah. I just point blank him. <laughs> That'll work. That'll work. Okay. I'm gonna back up right here. Alright. And I'm going to spiky this boy right here. Alright, so middle. okay, let me check to see what Spike does again. Because remember I can't remember all your memorize all your attacks all the time. Okay, uh Spike. Okay, so it's the one where the spike does oh. the spike does seven damage and then the explosion does five. Uh, the explosion is not effective. Actually, yeah, it is. You're, you're. That's right. I forgot. You were very effective at this. Wow. This is his job. All right, roll <laughs> my job. The hits. This is what I do. Roll the Come hit. On. And roll. Hit. All right, seven hit. damage minus three. It. You only needed nine to hit the single one. Oh. Oh, these these guys are level three. That's nice. Yeah, they're level 3, but level 4 when they attack as a pack, which is Swarm Rules. Swarm Rules. Anyway, you deal 7, oh. minus armor of 3, which deals 4 damage to it. And uh, does the one. explosion go off this turn or next turn? Uh, it goes off now. 
Okay. The explosion. Actually, I can control it. I can control it, but right. it's going to go off now. All right. So uh, now roll three more times. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, miss, miss, miss. Boom. Oh. Blows. Okay, the explosion, <laughs> oh, all it does blows. is jostle them a bit. No damage. Well, that blows. Really blows. <laughs> oh. Alright, Sosa, it is your turn. Oh. Okay, <laughs> well, Sosa is panicking, but she is trying to remember her training. And she's trying to access her magic, and a combination of both with instinct practice and panic allows her to shoot the project energy attack. Alright. The onslaught. The project energy, which is improved onslaught. Uh, let me check a cataclysm form. Uh, costs two int to use, so one. Deals okay. five damage. Who are you targeting? Uh, th this one. Okay. We want closest. Okay, so roll the hit. D20? Yep, D20. Okay. There's a bunch of other that Dice. You always use D20 except for recovery. Got it. Yeah. And we roll go. D20s all the time. You actually oh, hit! Yes, Five damage, <laughs> and because energy goes through armor. <laughs> Alright! Oh, that's, that, oh, that's awesome. Yeah, I'm Tycoon! Gonna, that's awesome. Maybe I'll go over and give you a bunch more damage. Alright. Uh, it's time for the thing we call Onslaught. <laughs> On? Uh... Oh. I'm gonna, hit the boy. Boy. I'm gonna hit the boy closest to me because I don't want. I would like him to go away. <laughs> All right, roll the hit. Roll one d twenty. Uh, hit basic damage. Remember, your onslaught oh. is not energy based. You only deal one damage because they're armor. I mean, it is energy based. It's just not the type of energy that need yeah. goes through armor. Yeah. <laughs> Zykora, it's now your turn. I'm gonna. Her over to Vivian. Uh huh. Oh, Kim, but not like hard or sharp, and give him a point of all. Because oh. he has taken a lot of damage. All right, He's Vivian, uh, do you want to have a temporary mutation? Will you let me give you armor? Uh, how does that work? <laughs> she touches you, and you let her mutate you to get a rocky skin. And your skin turns into rocks. <laughs> yeah. Oh my! Oh wow! And Don't how long does this last? An hour. An hour. Uh, could be useful. Just do it. Get it over with. Okay. Armor provided. <laughs> I, I, I post you, and because I have that intellect defense. You don't. It doesn't even cost me anything. Yeah. Intellect Ed. It's free. Maybe. Yep. All right. Suki. All right. Do you continue I'm plonking? Going to... I'm going to do plonk for the second round in a row. Two more mosaics, please. All right. Mosaics <laughs> you have. Okay. I took 10 with me, but I have 50 total. What to know? Oh, boy. More probably spawning plonk, back at plonk, base. Plonk. All right, so uh, uh, roll, roll for down. hits on the first two hitting these things. Yeah. <laughs> roll for hit twice. Plonk, 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 plonk hit. Uh, as they plonk, how much damage do they deal? Uh, the, uh, mosaic slimes do four damage. Uh, and are on, explosive. Uh, on Plonk, even before they start exploding? Uh, or, I didn't mark the on damage for Plonk itself. Okay, so all, all that's right, all it does is daze them when they get hit. Bonk, bonk. Bonk, bonk. Confused. How do they deal damage? No, not when, well, not when they hit the first time. But, uh, well, the, they did light you on fire, so. Uh, well, they're immune to fire. Thing. But they're not immune to explosion. The one that was here from last time... Goes kaboom! Roll twice oh. again. Oh my! Okay, that one that one misses, but this other one. <laughs> okay, so they deal four damage. You get plus two because you rolled an eighteen. That's six damage. So it's three damage because due to a mosaic explosion. Boom! Boom! Sparkles fly everywhere, and the nearby area is now lit on fire. Roaches! <laughs> uh, immune to fire, but uh, they are they're, both of them were stunned due to plonk. <laughs> Do roaches burn? Nope, they don't burn. Uh -oh. They're not burning, so that's sad. Okay, uh, lightning roach oh gosh, attacks the flying them. person. Thunder, dodge lightning bolt. With the roll d20 plus 3. Yep. Oh. 
Screw me. Oh, you take double oh, damage! Yeah. <laughs> Good news That's is you don't get right. mutated by lightning. <laughs> no, because yeah. lightning is radioactive. So, I you take not. eight damage to the face and become mm. paralyzed, which in the sky is very oh, bad. No. Oh, no. <laughs> no. Funk. Mayday, mayday. Oh, wow. <laughs> what That's is wrong with my dice? Is the Ow. red He's line like, their health? Because yep. he's really low. Then. Well, uh, you have three health bars. <laughs> yeah. Oh. That's just his might pool. So how long am I paralyzed for? Your next turn will be used being unparalyzed. Oh, fuck me. <laughs> it's like Pokemon, man. <laughs> yeah, that's how it works. I'll find you a rusty rake, Void. <laughs> Alright, so... The cockroaches... Uh, they may talk and give jibing jokes, but not very smart, so they're not going to try to gang, ba gang attack anymore. So, uh, here we go. One on Zykora, one on Vivian, and two on Sosa. Oh, oh no. crap. So <laughs> helping people makes them want to kill me. Good to know. Well, actually, that's right. Uh, oh, no, they noticed you helping him. Are they that dumb? No, no, the other one goes and attack you, and you're right, Zykora. They don't. They're not going to attack you yet. <laughs> they're that dumb. <laughs> That's how dumb they are. I'm just going to fuck everyone and then start stabbing anyway, them with my claws. Anyway, Sosa needs to dodge twice. Vivian needs to dodge once, and uh, Muse needs to dodge once. Oh, okay. So I click. So, so I click the twenty twice. Drug off their yep. attacks. I have four yeah. armor. You have. Four oh, then you will be only affecting. You'll only be having mutation effects on you. Ah. Uh. That's okay. still not dodge good. Dodge once and dodge, dodge again. Okay, uh, and uh, I'm waiting for uh, the, the last dodge, dodge to come in on. Uh, you don't need to dodge Tycoon, again, right? Amuse, where's your dodge? I mean, my armor has survive on it, doesn't it? Yeah, mutation is mutation. Uh, one d twenty, bonk. Wait, question. You dodge. Anyway, uh, what what's the question? If you dodged the first time, that means you didn't get hit by their claws, which means you don't get mutated, right? Yeah, that's right. right did I dodge? Okay, so, Tycoon dodged. Sosa, you needed a nine. You dodged once. The second time you got hit. Ow. You have one armor because of the exoskeleton thing. The endoskeleton. So you take only take three damage. That said, you get a mutation. Today's mutation, uh, armor shield, armor broken. Now you don't have armor. <laughs> Oh crap! I'll go give you more armor. Uh, Vivian, Ooh, you got you took. Oh, actually, that's right. Uh, so, so you get to resist mutation. Never mind. Ooh. You two, Vivian. <laughs> Vivian and Sosa both roll to resist mutation. Do I do that again? Yeah. Yeah. R roll once more. Vivian has resist mutation. Sosa has not. Sosa really has lost her armor point. <laughs> <sighs> <laughs> Cockroaches! She, she's panicking a lot. All right. Like, uh, ow, ow, ow. Thunder, you are spending your entire turn being unstunned. Congratulations. Hey, I'm no longer stunned. Yeah, I was about to say, can you please remove it at least? <laughs> uh, Vivian, your turn. Okay, so I still have that healing thing, right? The mutation didn't screw it up? It didn't, but uh, you're in middle of combat right now, so using it is eh. Got okay. it. Doesn't it only take one action? Uh, actually, it does, but uh, chances are they'll hit you again next turn. <laughs> yeah, only so goes you'd, pro you'd probably be better off shooting a roach or something. <laughs> only goes up a d6, but if I get hit one more time, I might. What happens when your might runs out? Uh, not much. You just become injured, which means your critical rolls have less potency, and uh, using effort is more difficult. When two bars go down, then you have problems. Yeah, one bar is not too bad. Oh, it so it is ridiculously don't... hard to die. Yeah, it is hard to die. <laughs> okay, so I'm going to just back up, and I'm going to shoot the roach here that Sosa energied. All right. Uh, roll hit. And I'm not going to shoot it with a spike, of course, because we don't want to blow up any teenagers today. <laughs> <laughs> uh, hit, it deals four damage, right? Oh, five? Five damage. Five. You only deal two so, due to armor, but there you go. How much? That thing's cooking quite a bit already. Seven, I think. Yeah, it's seven. They probably have nine health, roughly. Say, hmm. uh, can can the grenade gun do friendly damage? Do what? If I throw the grenade, 
A, is it guaranteed to go off and, and do damage? And B, oh, will it do friendly damage? Yes, it has friendly, friendly fire, fire enabled. Yes, it's friendly fire. Yes, it does damage. <laughs> is it, it guaranteed? Up. It's not guaranteed. The boomerangs will guarantee it is. Whoever has that. Anyway, that was uh, Vivian. Sosa! Okay. Panicking aside, she now knows how to uh, shoot her new energy, so Sosa targets once she hit. Alright. Roll again. Uh, no, it's not. You miss. Dang. Goes right over its head. Tycoon! Oh boy. Time to do. Uh, I'm gonna Eldritch, bl uh, Eldritch Blast the one in front of me. Alright. Roll hit. I mean. <coughs> onslaught. Onslaught, go ahead. Roll hit. Roll 1d20. Funk. Uh, you miss. <laughs> Damn. Goes right through its leg. <laughs> well, this is going absolutely brilliantly, isn't it? Uh, Zykora, it's your turn. The cockroaches are still dumb. Really, really <laughs> Alright, um, Thunder, would you like. Would you... Would you, actually no, Thunder. You can fly. Uh, <laughs> so, so, would you like some well, armor? Well, yes, thank you. Of but course, you... thank yes, yes, please. All right, you <laughs> cure her. You cure her, her. You cure her armor break mutation. All right. <laughs> uh, Suki, thank you. you and the slimes. I'm gonna set off another wave of slimes. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, uh, they're starting to get really large, so, uh, there's only, uh, only one of them has a chance to stun, because there's too many slimes now. Fuck, the fuck. So roll well, one. for- seven. I, I rolled a seven, a two, and an eighteen. Alright, the seven is first, you don't stun anything. Okay. That said, the three other explosions go off, and since there's three of them, they can act as a swarm. Oh. So, plus one damage, but roll twice at plus three, I guess. Uh, I'm... A friend came over for a surprise visit, so... Oh. I need to leave for a little bit, but just... I'm just... I'm giving armor to anyone who doesn't have it, and then once everyone has armor, I'll go on a second round. That's, all right. that's what I'm doing with all my turns. Okay. Sounds like a plan. Alright, so... Uh, Right back. Surprise visits, man. People are just annoying, aren't they? <laughs> yep. Yes. Anyway. Oh, well, not annoying, but, you know, that's life, I guess. Anyway, says. Uh, the mosaic slimes have successfully hit twice with higher explosions. What's their normal damage, Luke? Their normal damage is four. They deal five. Instead, they deal two. <laughs> explosions go off. <laughs> So when these slimes explode, do they die? Are they like self-destructing? Or... Nope. No, they 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 explode and then they're still there. Oh, I forgot <laughs> to have these. I forgot to have the. Oh, they were stunned last turn. That's why they didn't attack the slimes. Yeah. <laughs> Roaches, uh, are outnumbered, so slimes get plus three to dodge. <laughs> okay. Nine and eleven. <laughs> I only see 11. We're, oh, yeah, 9 and 11. Okay. Uh, yeah. Dodge successful. <laughs> these, these two roaches are having a bad day. Are they dead yet? Uh, no, but no, Lightning Roach dead. Lightning Roach sees uh, oh. Little Miss uh, Tycoon not taking any damage, so you get a lightning bolt to the face, Tycoon. Oh, fuck. Oh. Owie. Pull well, the dodge. Uh, yeet. Okay, you have successfully eaten it. Congratulations. Yeet. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so uh, also Tycoon dodged the normal roach. Uh, so so <laughs> so so. There are yep. three of them on you. You only have to oh, dodge fine. once, but it's at minus three. Uh. Oh, okay, here we go. One, two, three, roll. Uh, wow, you successfully did it. You're, you're fine. Oh! Tycoon, <laughs> the normal one on you. You're also fine. Great. Thunder, you get to do something. Oh, I actually get to do stuff now. Well, what can I even do? Murder. <laughs> Murder. 
if I hit someone, will that mean I have to do a, <laughs> a mutation row? No. Again. No? I mean, not unless you accidentally hurt yourself by rolling a 1. But that, that, that's, that's not going Right. I am going to try and... Uh, where is the pink? Where's the pink one? The the one that that one. Uh, you know? That that I know which one you're going for. It's the one you're next to. So punch it. Yeah. Punch it. Uh, yes. Um, slash row uh, D twenty. No, you miss. Screw me. Oh. <laughs> Screw me. But I'm go. But I do have the ability, Testy, where it, where it just gets worse and worse for them the more I don't hit. All right. I will mark. How do I mark? Uh, I will mark a single tick mark next to you. Yeah. All right, Vivian. You currently have no roaches on you. <laughs> Which is Congratulations. Good. So I just want to make sure. Um. Uh, brain fart. Okay, I'm just gonna shoot because I can't remember what I was gonna ask. Uh, I'm assuming you're not gonna explode. Juni has Don't returned. you want to heal? Juni has returned. Juni has returned. Oh. We didn't even get to your turn, I don't think. <laughs> Alright, cool. <laughs> I, got, I got a belated Christmas present. It's great. Cool. Anyway, I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna shoot Ooh. at the same. Alright, I summoned more Cheers. slimes and rolled lots of dice. That's cool. Hits! Uh, you deal two damage. You have finally killed one, guys. Yay! Yay. Okay. I energy blasted its head off. Yep, it goes. <laughs> All right. Skoosh. So, are the roaches showing any sign of you know retreating or being scared now? Uh, no, they're still giving off their laughing and giggling and weird biting remarks like, "Oh, look at those limbs! They'd be so tasty." Ew. I say we blast them. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, whose turn is that? Okay, now it is Sosa. Oh, okay. Speaking of which, Sosa's getting a little bit more confident, so she blasts the one, opens fire on the one in front of her. Alright. Roll hit. Yeah. Uh... Yeah, five, oh, that's 18. You get bonus damage from that because it's so high. So, you oh. have five. Plus two is seven. It still pierces armor. Seven damage. Holy cow. <laughs> you hey, would have killed the other one. The, you would have killed the other one if you... When you, use your new, when you use your new energy thing, it goes through your skeleton. It feels like it's heat running through your body. And then it comes out at massive beam of energy right out of your eye. Whoa. <laughs> oh, you have cool. eye lasers. Congratulations. Well, just the one eye. You anyway. have eye laser. Congratulations. <laughs> Tycoon, Whoa. you were a... Uh... I don't have... I, I used to have eye lasers, but now I don't. Yes, Jim? You, it's your turn. Your what turn. are you going to do? Uh, Shoot something. On... <laughs> Onslaught, this one. <laughs> Neither of die. you two are able to hit each other very well. Okay, one damage. Plunk. God. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> Tycoon and Catalyst Roach locked in an eternal combat for the strike for survival. Just go down already. <laughs> oh boy. Uh, okay. Uh, Zykora, now and it's I your make turn. This weapon higher power. Right, so, who, who still needs armor from me? Uh, uh, Thunder does, and I do. Thunder and Suki should still get armor. Thunder start flying. Five more. Yeah, but you know, you remember the last time I flied, I ate a lightning bolt to the face. And then fell down. Now. Do dodge better. <laughs> dodge better. Then. Dodge better. Oh, the cockroach <laughs> tells you to dodge better. Dodge better. <laughs> Which honestly is exactly what the other cockroaches are telling you. So she's letting in. You know you've reached your low point in life. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna go give <laughs> armor. All right, Come Suki. On. Suki gets armor. I get an armor. Yeah, boy. <laughs> All right, Suki. Oh no! Uh, I've spawned the last four mosaics I had in my tank. <laughs> Hopefully, you're aiming them at the big blue guy, or can you not aim? Uh, the... Slimes uh, are uh, 
Once, once, the, once there them becomes the a lot of them become they become not aimable. They, they become ah. a they become a swarm. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that is a lot. <laughs> Pretty colorful. Well, by the way, uh, there's too many wow. slimes to do any uh, slapping to the face, so those rules don't matter. What does? Oh, okay. oh, what does matter is the six existing ones exploding. <laughs> ah, yes. <laughs> so, uh, roll four times because two sets of three. Oh, one of them kills itself. Bang! Oh, Aww. Aww. I got to got to mark that down. I have less slime now. <laughs> okay, so. Two of them successfully hit, dealing the two damage, one on each of them. These cockroaches are clearly not sure what to do with this, by the way. Roaches! Boomy slime! Two, uh, hey, uh, no, what, the slimes need to dodge twice. Dodge twice, slime. Okay. Success. 11 as well. Uh, yes. Lightning boy back uh, up the slimes and shoots to tycoon. <laughs> oh no! Uh, no What's your question, Amuse? Uh, if enough of the slimes stack on top of each other, can they become a um, a giant slime? Uh, that's <laughs> that's going to be an ability I'm going to get a different tier to combine slimes. Ah. At the moment, they all just treat they're treated as a swarm creature, which has its own like rules and stuff. So they're hopping around the two roaches. Oh, uh, and I need to dodge barking. the Yeah, and it's exploding. <laughs> yeah. Tycoon is dodged. Off of them and... and the roaches still aren't dead. Uh, cockroach on. Normal cockroach on Tycoon. <laughs> <laughs> hey, oh, it hits! Does no damage, but mutation chances. Uh -oh. Roll the avoid <laughs> mutation. Oh, oh critical no. mutation! That, Congratulations, oh, that's, that's you gonna get, hurt. You immediately mm. become injured. Congratulations. Oh. Well, you don't I, lose I, your health. Oh, you I immediately ticked out. Uh, what does that do? Okay, so injured is just a state that says it's acting as if you didn't have the first health bar. You still do. For now. So I don't have might anymore, so I don't take you, damage from might then? You can still take damage from might. The thing is, you uh, can't get as many criticals, and effort is harder to use. You are in more danger of falling to debilitate. Oh, wait, could I have used effort to, uh... I don't remember how effort is used. Before you make a roll, say you want to use effort. And then you spend and, energy... You spend numbers from your pools to make the task easier. Effort would not have helped you with that natural one. Yeah, it would not have. <laughs> Nothing. It would not. No. Nothing saves the one. Nothing it saves you from natural one. Serious mutation! Nothing saves the one. Only reroll skills save you from natural ones. <laughs> Alright, uh, Sosa, dodge two. Oh, wait, two. if you had a team, you could have rerolled that. Oh, dodge two. Oh. Dodge two, Sosa. One. Dodge. Oh, uh, whoops. Dodge. You dodged. And, and dodge, two. successful. Dodge. Yep. Ooh. Those are the roaches. Uh, thunder. Well, I'll try, and, uh, well, I'm going to fly over there, and then I'm going to try and hit that, you know, the one the next to me Yeah, again. hit it. Hopefully without rolling out. Oh, you hit yourself! Oh. How much damage is that for? Oh. <laughs> and there are All of it. red bar. Now you are actually injured! You have the same problem Tycoon does. You punched yourself yeah. out of the sky, congratulations. Well, Oh, yeah, wait, 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 wait. Yeah, it was speed, free, yeah. Yep, you got three this speed, one light. This is why I material, so I could yeah. build everyone armor, and we wouldn't need to rely on... <laughs> Psychora? I would very much like some armor now. Yeah, <laughs> yeah I can I can do that. I can do that. <laughs> Vivian! I, I can definitely Vivian. do that. So I just want to make sure I got this straight. I can, do I have a movement phase and then a shooting phase, or are they the same? Uh, one action. You're one, you, you, in most cases, you can move then attack. There are rare cases where okay, you can. Okay. So you can move then attack. I'm going to move right here. That's fine. And since this is a semi-automatic weapon that has the option of hit one target or hit one t all targets at long range for the energy, I'm going to shoot all three of these guys. Okay. Oh. Let me double so, check. So, so cool. 
piercing shot or something or whatever. <laughs> all right. So hits I'm one target or all right. targets. By the way, it's since because it says indiscriminate. Anything that's in combat with those creatures are going to take damage too, which is your friends. Oh if I miss, uh, you roll separately for all six of them. Um, uh, uh, Vivian, um, you know, injured person here. Um, I would very like, much like not to die today. You know. Also, you hit the slime, by the way. Stop complaining. Oh, this. <laughs> oh dear! Oh dear! Oh dear! Can you just can you just hit the can you just hit the lightning guy down there? You know. You know, it's tempting, but uh. My mind does not can have that range. Uh, us, or... That's short range. You can actually make it. Oh, that's short range. Yep. Okay. Well, yeah. I'll just move a hoppity doodle over here. Guys, how are you guys Or I doing could your try life? and I could try and kill this guy, but she, he is also kind of right next to her. So I'll just. But in the, so in the top. Her. In the top right, there's a ruler icon. Oh, no, top top left, there's a ruler icon. You can click on that to get various rulers that you can point arrows around. I generally try not to All use right. them too much, but for getting questions about range down, it's fine. Anyway, you shoot the Ooh. do you shoot the guy? I shoot lightning man. All right, roll the hit. You seem to be raising hell with everybody. Hit! You don't even need to roll for explosion. That's just enough to kill him. So, yeah. uh, right. No more lightning guy. Wipe him off the face of the map. <laughs> yeah, that was like twelve damage. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. By the way, you dealt oh. plus one because you rolled 17. <laughs> yeah. Alright, that was Vivian. Ooh. Sosa, you you have been taking the most hits, but you're somehow still alive. Okay. Uh, you know. Well, Sosa notices that at the roach in front of Tycoon and Thunder, it looks like it hurt them both really bad. So she decides to try and, you know, Zap him real Zap good. it, alright. <laughs> yep. Roll for zap. Mm -hmm. Zap. And nothing. Oh, I keep forgetting to mark your, you mark your intellect down every time you use that. That's right. Does she not have an edge? She has one edge, not two. Okay. Um, Understandable. Have a nice day. <laughs> well, you know, it could be worse. It could have been one lower, and it could have hit me. <laughs> <laughs> oh. I am not... <laughs> And you know, it kind of reminds me of the first RPG session I did ever. The one where I died in a tutorial. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, yes, that was that Sosa. Was... Tycoon, it's your don't turn. Laugh, the legendary struggle of woman in armor versus cockroach continues. <laughs> how? I just want to know how beat up is this cockroach looking? Not very at all. Uh, so You've I dealt two mean, points of damage to it. Eh. Hit. One damage. Ah. Doink. I have armor, but I hate other things that have armor because my stuff doesn't penetrate armor. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> oh, I'm having fun here, destroying all of you. <laughs> well, actually, you guys, you guys are probably gonna live out of this. It's not the slimes are having a big field day. Anyway. The slimes are having a party of their own. <laughs> Zykora. Oh, it's my turn. Yeah. Um, I am going to. And I'm gonna go give him some armor. Here you go, you have armor now. Armor provided! And I only have plus two armor. <laughs> Alright, armor <You're> successful! <laughs> Suki! Alright! <laughs> I think I was gonna have those two cockroaches again. The backpack clicks as the tank empties. And I switch to, uh, I switch, switch tanks and plonk out a hunter. <laughs> oh, the hunter can follow uh, complex information. What do you want him to do? Huh? What do you want the hunter to what? do? He can do a complex thing, remember? Yeah, oh, oh, I, I grabbed him, Gib. Oh, while well, you duplicated him. I, wow. I didn't duplicate him, I just grabbed him. <laughs> there was two in that spot. Oh. Anyways, I, I just want him to, uh, help out these guys here. Distract this cockroach and, you know, hit him. Alright. Uh, roll a hit. No. Miss. Oh. That said, who's drawing a three-dimensional box? Where? Huh? Someone was drawing a three-dimensional box with the, uh, ruler tool. <laughs> oh. 
Uh -huh. Anyway. Me. Okay, well, so... What color, what color was the ruler, Gabe? Black. Oh, that's you. But I wasn't doing it. Anyway. I think you're uh, tripping out. It's you. <laughs> Mosaic slimes. So, you can now give them plus two levels and have one extra because there's... How do you change the, your color? Uh, when you have a tool... <laughs> no idea. When you have a tool selected, you go to the top left, there's a color box. You probably should not have told them that. What, what's happening with all the slimes that are currently mobbing those two uh, roaches? Yeah, exactly. So, Luke, uh, nine of your slimes can operate as two levels higher. <laughs> it's a plus six. Okay. okay. And uh, plus two damage, of course. Oh, they're dead. They're, they're, they're dead. <laughs> dead. Don't even care. Dead. Both dead. Who cares? All right. Dead. dead. Super dead. 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 All dead. Very dead. There is nothing but a pile of dust and slime goo around them now. That is a zero point two five percent. That brings an end to the slime party. <laughs> slime party. Do you send them other places? They oh, they're gonna, they're gonna, they're gonna come attack the other stuff. Don't you worry. Well, the thing is, now that they're done with their primary objective, they're kind of dumb. So they'll go I, I, everywhere. Yeah, I'm, gonna have, I'm gonna have to. Do some slime ranching, don't you worry about it. Oh boy! The primary objective is done. Now anyone is fair game. <laughs> well, I, I, I want to start walking over here, and as they move around, I want to, uh... Actually, here. So I want to walk through here and suck them towards this way. You already used your action on Hunter this turn, so you yeah, have but, to, uh... Yeah, I'll have to wait until next round, but yeah. <laughs> By the way, how much success you get in your next roll determines how many slimes you get back in. <laughs> <laughs> well, Roaches! I don't, I don't want to get them back in. I want to suck them close to me, then move them. All right. Anyway, move the them. roach. Oh, I see what you're doing. The roach is after everybody, Tycoon everybody again clear. because it's funny for the roach to attack Tycoon. <laughs> Aww. Roll. Uh, you dodge. Congratulations. <laughs> okay. Uh, two That's roaches on Sosa. Okay. I dodge. Oh, I gotta, gotta do this. Dodge twice. Dodge. Super dodge! Hey. You hurt the thing! Ooh. It happens to be so d low on health, it dies. <laughs> oh, so now we're two left. You, it, it <laughs> lunges at you, and you take an opportunity to stab it in the neck with your fist, and it just dies. <laughs> I, so it doesn't really punch. Uh, then magic or something. Something happens. Oh wait, you you, you you did it reactively, but the fact that your bones made out of metal meant your look your reactive karate chop was actually deadly. Oh, like, I think oh. I got an idea. You just flailed and bonked him on his head. <laughs> I'm writing something on the sidebar, like it it I tackled me and it like squelch cracked its head. Anyway, those are the roaches. The thunder, it's your turn. Ah. Uh. Uh, do I do what is smarter? Do I do what seems most in character for my character? Always in character. Character, character. <laughs> right, Thunder is injured, supremely pissed, and uh, she has something of a chip on her shoulder. She right has now. one tick on that, by the way. Yes, and she also has final gambit. So this is going to go really, really well. It's going to go absolutely fucking horrible if I roll them and not a natural one. Anyway, let me double check your abilities on exact. So. Oh, actually, remember, your focus is now different. You don't have test of your final gambit on you right now. Oh, because yeah. of your wings. Yeah, your focus abilities don't, don't apply. You just attack normally. Yeah, <laughs> Sorry, I forgot that. Lucky, I mean. lucky me, my focus is just equipment, so... <laughs> well, it, yes, cha it has know, changed, remember? Yeah, but you know... Yeah, but you know, Funda, Fun, Funda's appearance might have changed, but her, her personality really hasn't, so you know... Yeah, she'll punch it. There you go. She still hits it. What's her damage? Four, because of brass knuckles. You deal yeah. one. <laughs> <laughs> this one roach! This one roach here! Is the MVP of their team. <laughs> <laughs> well, you say that, but he hasn't done any damage to a tycoon either. Uh, he, inter he injured. He injured her. Yeah, but <laughs> I haven't taken actually any damage because my armor has just absorbed it. <laughs> okay, uh, Vivian. 
Well, I am going to go and just shoot this guy. That is not... There we go. All right. Shoot. Roll there. has two L's. Roll has two. Okay, hit. Uh, you deal five, right? Yep. You deal two. <laughs> Sosa. Yes. It's your turn. Uh, I take it this guy isn't dead yet. Nope. He's, you'll oh. you'll kill him if you hit. Okay. Opening fire. Beer. At the last roach. <clears throat> and... Hit dead, which Yay. means only this roach is left. <laughs> Just that guy. Oh boy. And whose turn is it? It's Tycoon's turn! Not, uh, GM, can I, can I try to use my, uh, armor's power core and charge my next shot? No. You don't have that you ability. Don't you, don't, you don't have that ability. You can get that on a level up. <laughs> or work into your armor. Yeah, level. Die! Hit! One damage. <laughs> ah! <laughs> <laughs> cockroach is such a cockroach. Yeah, you, you think? <laughs> what a dick. Tycoon is going to hate having to fight bug type enemies now. Zygora, <laughs> it is your turn again. <laughs> Judy. All right. Um, so how many hit hit Just on that rope? Go down. You oh, can hit. How hit that oh dear, poor Tycoon. <laughs> <laughs> There's only one roach left. You can still attack I'll never it. Never be able to look at roaches again. But like how hit is the roach? Uh, it has taken it? several <laughs> hits, but none of them very big. <laughs> it's taken okay, three well, points of damage. Okay, well I don't actually have very much. I'm not actually very good at hitting things yet. Yep. Um. You can just walk up to it and roll for hit. You'd be outnumbered that way. With your roach claws. Well, I have an outnumber bonus. Or, which will just make it easier to hit, but it'll still do one damage. Uh, <laughs> Alright, roll with plus three for outnumber bonus. You forgot the slash. <laughs> I'm very good at this. I'm very good at using this. Uh, you hit! Uh, you have four damage and natural weapons. You only deal one. And, uh, he's muted mutation. Yeah. <laughs> unsurprising. Uns yeah, unsurprising. Okay! That roach, man. Suki! Okay, first order of business. See I, how you deal with these slimes. You get two slimes yeah. where you want them to go per order, per degree of success. Okay, so I, I look at the, uh, I look at the situation, I'm like, I'm not gonna be able to get more slimes in there safely. So it's time to just suck them all up Suck all of them up possible. All right, two per degree of success. Do my animal handling skills assist me here? Yeah, you get plus three. I have two pluses to animal handling. Oh, okay, you and then plus six. You gave me two pluses. All right, plus six. <laughs> so I automatically get four in. Okay, so that's, uh, that's, that's, uh, that's that is seven, seven degrees of success, so 14, you got them all. <laughs> Gotta catch them all! <laughs> they would have been Zoop quite bad if you hadn't gotten them all, because then they start exploding you guys. Aww. I just zoop them all up. What about the and, hunter? Uh, the hunter. hunter just hunter just attacks the thing. Yeah, the hunter yeah. Falls, the hunter is smart enough not to attack friends. Yeah, boom. hits. How much damage does the hunter deal? Hunters do uh, two damage. Nothing happens. <laughs> Bounces right <laughs> off. Boink. <laughs> Roaches! Oh, no this roach is going to attack. Let's guess. Come on, who's going to attack? <laughs> it's going to attack the hunter, because the hunter's annoying. No, it's going to attack Tycoon. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> God damn it. It's a gag. It's a running gag. You dodge! <laughs> Thunder! Do you want to punch it? Yeah, sure. Okay. Why not? Go right ahead. Punch it. <laughs> you punch yourself! Oh, oh no. Thunder, that's, what is that's these that's rolls? 
Vivian! I don't know. Ask yourself. Vivian, you, do you want to shoot him? Vivian, look, it's very Vivian. difficult. Navigating it is spinning. First of all, Vivian is just absolutely appalled at this thunder guy. He, like, flies <laughs> over himself, trips himself up in the air, gets shot out of the sky, kicks himself in the face. Twice! And... <laughs> He's afraid that if he shoots in that general direction. Look, I'm used to a pegasus body. I'm used to a much smaller, stuckier one than this weird, lanky build of things. I like the wings, but oh, fuck it for the love of fuck. I don't want to have this human thing anymore. <laughs> Your wings are real nice, though. <laughs> well, yeah, yeah, I'm but you gonna... know, yeah. You're real yeah. good at flying right now. Alright, what you doing, Tomic? <laughs> I'm just gonna go, you know... Oh shoot, what am I thinking? There, I have an image in my head of some animated character charging with a pitchfork. Go right ahead, <laughs> you can perform a charge! I think it's from Fievel Goes West. I think it's the cat guy and he's like charging a dummy <laughs> with a pitchfork. That's what I'm gonna do. You can perform a charge. My... Charge Black, the world like, I'm going to war charge into this guy because I don't want to accidentally shoot someone because there's like a lot of them by by them. Yeah. I'm just gonna Stab, roll the hit. <laughs> you go straight through its skull, cracking all of its chitin everywhere, and then you keep going, plunging deeper and deeper in until you pop out the other side, having split it in half. <laughs> what? Like, wow. uh, like Rob Roy, Vivian's you guys ever seen that really movie? At, you know, Liam Neeson? At kill shots. Da 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 I mean, I did a critical role. I killed a recommendalist, too. I just, like, critical rolled it and killed it. Yeah, you got double damage, <laughs> holy cow. <laughs> you, you know, yeah, I, I would have done, like, I might need a recovery rope post this. I would have done 10 damage. <laughs> so, three kills. Huntsman. Let's Vivian, go. you are doing your job. This is exactly what you were made to do. This is exactly what I'm made to do. So, there are no more enemies currently, right? Yep, the normal music is playing again. Let's uh, see, I wrote in this, I wrote one, two... How many other things have I wrote? Right, I will make I all the one... stats wear off now. Including oh, the helpful right, so... ones. Tycoons, yes, yours only lasts an hour, you're fine too. So now maybe I should explain how recovery works, just in case anyone doesn't know. Make sense? All right. Yeah. So four times a day, you will get to uh, roll recovery. Uh, the first one only costs one action to do. The second one takes a minute, then an hour, and then you require a full sleep. Every time you do one of these, you just get to roll a d6 and add that number to your tier, plus any bonuses you may have, and get that much back in whatever pools you wish. Currently, I no idea what that means, but okay. Uh, I would like to do a recovery roll then. All right, so let's do an example with uh, Thunder, the, the, the klutz. Roll d6. <laughs> you get two. Thunder klutz. I just have terrible You roll hell. two, your tier is one, and you have plus one recovery, so you actually get four. So you have four points to regain. You put Go them all in might. He chose yeah. to put them all in the red bar, for instance. All right, so... He is, he is recovered. If he wants to recover, you have to spend another minute. Do you guys want to rest yeah, for a minute? Why? Yeah, we can uh, rest for a minute to all give right. people their health back. All right. Yeah. Uh, only Vivian has taken much heavy hits. I mean, Thunder. <laughs> well, I'm Thunder, but Vivian and Thunder. So, taking a minute to rest, uh, Vivian and Thunder, you can both roll. So, do I roll 2d6? Oh, come, come on! <laughs> give you three, Thunder. Uh, you can roll 2d6, yes. Unless you only need one. <laughs> oh, come on! I just have terrible fucking luck today. Really you get plus three, lost... Thunder. That's something. The point. Oh, so, yeah. I'm, gonna, I'm, gonna, I'm good. <laughs> You're not dead. Oh. Uh, Vivian, you get... I think you eight. get... Eight. Yeah. Awesome. So that... That fills you, actually. All yeah. the way. Yeah, that's all the way. Yeah. Congratulations. Okay, so Whoop. taking it step by step for those who are confused, uh, when you roll recovery, you roll a d6. You get that number plus whatever bonuses you have. You get that much back to your health. And your health, since there's three bars, you can choose which bar to put it into at will. 
Um, so does that mean I roll? Uh, if you want to, but you're not very far down. I mean, okay. she's got a fair bit of int and might down. I mean, you can roll once, I guess. Yeah, one, one I... roll would hurt. <clears throat> Alright, so go okay. ahead, so, so see what you get. That's a d20. <laughs> d6. Oh, what's wrong? D6. D6. It's the one time you roll a d6. d6. Okay. The one time for recovery, that's it. Whoa! Oh, you get seven oh, points back. I, I, oh! It, it, is all my luck being sucked out of my- being sucked out of Fonda's body and transferred to the others? <laughs> yeah. Hey. Anyway, uh, that means you get all the one point back, Sosa. Uh, which one do you not want to have full? Uh... Does Might do anything? Uh, it's the mainly where your health gets taken out of, when you take physical damage. It's health, and if you're, like, doing any climbing or, like, running really- no, not running, running is speed. But yeah, climbing, any might-based thing, weightlifting, that sort of thing would be taken out of might. But uh, since you're like a spellcaster, you'd probably want to have all your intellect, so... Yeah, do the intellect one. Alright. I, I I feel like... <laughs> so so no, exhausted I, right now. I feel like the Thunder actually has an excuse to be a fucking klutz right now. <laughs> yeah, except no one else is. Yeah. <laughs> Even the yes, cockroach please. did great. <laughs> I, yes. the, cock, the cockroach barely rolled at all. The cockroach made... How many rolls did the cockroach make? The cockroach rolled like twice. Which one? <laughs> Me? You. Yeah, you. Okay. Well, the well yeah, but I also gave all the people armor. Yeah, the cockroach what? was doing yeah, buffs Yeah, she did all help. Day. She helped a yeah. lot. Support class. <laughs> the after support well, class this, cockroach. Right now I'm a support class. After everything has calmed down and everyone's like... Take a rest to heal. Tycoon just goes. I hate fighting brutes. Huh? You know, I actually forgot to do something, but since you guys haven't moved for a minute, I can still do it. <laughs> oh no! Oh. The blue corpse explodes. Uh. Oh. Uh. Now you guys are far enough away that it doesn't do anything to you, but it does stuff to the road beneath you. Oh no! Uh. Oh. It cracks open, and a hole opens up beneath you. Roll, uh, all of you. Everyone but Thunder needs to roll. Thunder, you just automatically fly out of this. I, 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 I have Tycoon. My... Oh, oop. I didn't mean to do that. Nice roll, though. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> anyway, everyone but Thunder needs to roll. Thunder automatically succeeds due to flight. Roll, dad, roll for what? Dad, like, dodge. Falling dodge one. falling yeah. rocks. Get out of the way. I, I don't have to roll because of uh, dash boots. Oh. Fine. Anyway, all of you succeeded. <laughs> it wasn't very hard. Void proxies. All of you succeeded. None of you fell in the hole. Ooh. But when the hole opens up, it reveals a very pristine looking metal passageway with actual green lights blinking in the halls. Functional Yo. technology. The, I tap Tycoon on the shoulder. I'm like, look, look, I, there's, I there's the stuff. Tycoon's eyes fucking light off behind her mask. How deep down is it? Uh, it's only about one story. Like, yeah, so I, like, the road was on top of a roof, so the road was the roof, so the roof just caved out, so now there's a tunnel. <laughs> why, is, why is all this stuff down here? That is a very good question. Nicola. I have no idea. Does it look really clean? Yes, actually. It's well, sealed. the only thing I can think of that's impeding us from going down there and getting cool things and investigating is the fact that only one of us can fly, as far as I know. Getting Unless down one story is not an issue. Getting down would be too bad. I used to be able to fly, but I... Uh... Getting back up is a problem. <laughs> oh, so it can't transform, so she can't Do we fly. have any rope? Do we have any rope? Um, uh... it's, it's just a one-story drop. It, hopping down won't be too bad of a problem. Yeah. Plus, and if plus, Thunder and I go. If Thunder and I go down, we can like catch people. Also, bonus note. Uh, it is. I'm assuming out of the six of you, someone has rope. I don't have rope. Who needs? No, rope? I just assume I that because it's the adventuring assumption. I'm... Okay, fine. Nah. So, so, as a, as a, I can tell you without a student at a school, she does not need rope. rope. Could I have a grappling hook? Grappling hook. No grappling hook. Yeah. Just rope. We can and get down pretty no. easily. Let's yeah. just go down and I mean, explore. Sure. Let's you go. go first. I... 
Okay, I just hop off the edge and uh, gently float to the ground using my uh, jet boots. All right. Yeah. Uh, and I everyone get gets down easily enough, including Hunter Slime. Such a good boy. Gets down, uh, but also, like, yeah. but also what? At... I would like to run a scan. Who was it that said they had jet boots? I have jet boots. Suki. Yeah. He also like looks at Suki, slightly annoyed because <laughs> he wants jet boots. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, Amuse, uh, you perform a scan. Uh, all you get is that the material is made out of. Uh, the wall. Uh, some kind of metal I haven't bothered to find. Uh, there's circuitry inside the walls you can easily harvest. Perfect. Uh, I, I'm now. going to uh, I'm going to ask for if anyone would like to help me I would like to tear these walls open and, and take the like, I, I feel like we should let this stuff run for the moment and like explore and just get stuff on our way out. Yeah, that's probably that's probably. Yeah, so, so you know, like like you know, electric doors and such will still work properly. That's, this is a good. <laughs> Who plan. wants a cipher? That Who wants a cipher? Good. You amuse. I would like one. Yes. Okay. Uh, lightning bolt in a bottle. This is oh. just lying on the ground. Does it just appear in my inventory? Uh, it's lying on the ground. It's you know, it's just kind of there. Yeah, but because you're a uh, player characters, you detect them as the vibration nonsense. Hmm. Lightning in a bottle. You touch it, and you know that if you throw it, it'll summon lightning. Um, a full... Sakura will, like, hold up her boom orang and say, Wanna trade? <laughs> no, I'm... good. <laughs> Sakura wants her lightning powers and back. There is a slight uh, maniac edge to... Tycoon's voice as she considers what she could do with lightning in a, bottle. a literal bolt of lightning in her pocket. <laughs> Tycoon will look at her and say, All right, I would like to point out when we get home, I can literally make lightning if you need some. I'm just gonna say, I can literally make lightning. That is You're literally like, like the one thing I'm actually really good at is zapping things. Can you generate your own electricity then? Yeah, but not now because I'm a freaking cockroach. <laughs> Normally, I can zap people and like shoot eye lasers, but I am a cockroach. Does it require so any other doing that, other I get to be itchy energy? and mutate people real fast. Uh, Tycoon at this point has like walked close, fairly close to Sycora, even though she is a cockroach, is now asking her numerous questions about her lightning powers. Um. Ikora is happy to answer them, but any questions... Ikora can answer pretty much anything about, like, the mechanics of her lightning powers, but anything about, like, biology and how they work, she's just like, I am not a spy. I'm not a, I'm not a medicaler here. I am literally a girl who can laser things. I don't do the science-y thing. Is it like... You can, like, study and ask questions. You can ask questions and things, but I don't know science-y stuff. That's not my... Like, no. I, I turn things into grenades and I hack. I, I'm not bio. I am not a biologist. <laughs> Taku would just want to know if like it requires anything other than your own energy to run. Oh, I can. I use. I can use my brain to shoot the colorful lasers, and it's super <laughs> awesome. I'll show you when we get back. <laughs> then I won't need to worry about having to charge the my suit's core. In I think I did mention at some point that I usually use my psionics to power my computers, so I can, anyway. down, I can definitely use it to power it's things. Charger. Anyway, exploration. Stuff. Exploration. Okay, oh, I am cool. going to actually have to grab I'll some. So you, you go down. It turns out this place doesn't actually have much. There's nothing here. Uh, but you go down. There's basically just one room at the bottom. It's circular. Uh, there are purple mushrooms glowing along the edges. Oh, sick. Growing purple and glowing. And oh, purple. perfect. Give, give, give me some of those. I need some of those. <laughs> okay. Uh, Are they poisonous? They explode. Okay, so oh. what, how exactly do you go about grabbing them, Luke? I I have skills in I have skills in biochemistry and gardening. I just want to look at them first. <laughs> okay, you look at them first? Uh, you're fairly certain that uh, they are actually mobile creatures. They're, mo they're, they're meat. I want to farm them. Uh, I suck up a bunch into my. Uh, they are chamber. large, not tiny. Oh, 
I thought you were saying they're just mushrooms. Okay, how Believe big are they? Are they, uh, they puppy-sized? Larger than your slimes. Mm. Mm, okay, so they're not the sort of thing I can fit in the vac chambers. That's unfortunate. <laughs> that they're is unfortunate. Men. Anyway, there's also something more than the mushrooms here. There's a guy who seems passed out on the ground. At, oh, okay, at the base yeah. of the mushrooms. Uh, Cora, well, I thought it was just glowing mushrooms. But yeah. Mushrooms. Think for a moment. I'm pretty sure those will make you pass out. Just based on, like, context and, like, plant well, hair. Well, there appears to be a mushroom growing out of his hair. Oh, oh they're gonna... They're gonna... Don't touch those. It's like a bumble deal. Agreed. Let's not touch them. He is passed I'm... out, though, and out cold. Oh and dear, oh dear, at the, oh in the center of the room is a metallic archway that seems to lead nowhere. Oh. Oh. This is probably just my admittedly founded plant and random thing paranoia, but that all seems real sketchy. Okay, yeah. I, I instruct my hunter slime to search Munson. Hunter slime? I'm going to... Uh, I, 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 I want him to pick up some goodies and bring them back. Uh, Hunter can report that no, he is not dead. And what loot does Hunter Slime bring back? Uh, <laughs> let's see, what does he bring back? It explodes. He brings back that? some hair he ripped off his head. Cool. Uh, I give it to Tycoon to scan. <laughs> I scan it. Alright, uh, human... Uh, basic hair follicle, uh, some mushroom spores in it. Anything about the mushroom I'm spores specifically? <laughs> mushroom spores, uh, the mushroom spores appear to be dead. Ah. Does he have a mutation? No, he doesn't. Like everybody I mean, else? Uh, I mean, there is a mushroom growing out of his head, apparently. But there might not be so, a mutation. We, like, felt, uh, we dropped it into a hallway. Can, I, roll, we go? can I make a cockroach roll to see if those would, like, affect me at all? Uh, no, you have no idea. Uh, what, what amuse? Uh, so we went. We found a hallway with blinking green lights. And which way did we go down the hallway? Uh, there was only one way. The rest of it was caved in. Yeah. So one uh, side was caved in. The other side was just. We just walked down a straight hallway. There hasn't been any branches off yet. All right. Can I roll to see if I know what those mushrooms are, based uh, on the fact that I know a bunch of weird, awful mushrooms from, like Alternia. You know nothing. Uh, <laughs> you know nothing, Sosa. Or. Sykora or John Snow. Sykora. Yeah. You know nothing, so, uh, Sykora Terex. So I'm going to use the... Hold on a sec, everyone. Very Atomic very is trying to awesome. do something. Shush. I'm going to use the infrared on the black stick to see if there's any abnormal <laughs> levels of infrared infra uh, radiation coming out of the uh, archway. Okay, the archway, by the way, the archway's in the center of the room. Yes. Oh, in the center. Okay. Yeah, it, just, it doesn't seem to go anywhere. Uh, the archway is brimming with some kind of energy that your sensors sort of do with. Uh, the mushrooms are warmer than they should be. Uh, also, uh, who has guys? I don't think it's safe to be in here. Uh, I can do stuff with radiation, but also I'm radioactive in and of myself, so it, that doesn't much help. Sosa has the uh, like radiation sense, right? What's yeah. up with oh. all the mushrooms in the game? Uh, the mushrooms are slightly radioactive. The arch is the only thing you have seen so far since you arrived that has no radiation. Hmm. Well, looking at it from here, what's it, uh, what's it, what, what's up with it? Anything up with it? Any control panels? Uh, any... yes, there's a control panel with a touchscreen that's fully functional. <sighs> okay. Uh, uh, so Tycoon's suit is fully, uh, fully enclosed. Huh? And it has survived, so would she be able to just walk through the cloud of spores just on her There are no cloud of spores right now, they're just mushrooms. Oh, sweet. They're then uh, Tycoon's kid's gonna walk past them. Okay. Uh, step yeah. over the cor- uh... <laughs> the cor it's not a corpse! Uh, He's alive! Actually, He's alive. uh, Tycoon will, uh, crouch down in front of him and, uh, gently, like, touch the side of his face. Alright, he actually wakes up, then in a panicked motion, he rips the mushroom out of his hair. Ah, uh, uh, hello. Oh. Oh. Someone oh. check my head, is it still there? Is there any- any sort of left at all? Well, uh, check. Tycoon. No, it is apparently oh, completely off. I am not known over there. It's apparently completely off. He's like, oh, thank goodness. Oh. What? And he slowly Why? stands up and picks his cane up and stands on it. He's like, oh, I am Professor Munson. 
Who the heck are all of you? I'm Tycora. Hi, Hi <laughs> there, Roach Creek Roach being. Mm. Yep. Don't mind the roach. Well, not, I'm not usually a roach. Not usually I'm, a roach. No, I'm not usually a roach. It's um, weird. Don't mind the roach. The roach is not sane. Don't, don't mind. You say you I'm all say confusing things. I'm perfectly sane, and you know it. Why? Uh, are anyways, you I say, uh, what's I'm up with the mushrooms that. here, Professor? Why are what's you up with the that? mushrooms? So two people talking once. The oh, mushrooms. The professor's like the mushrooms. The mushrooms. The mushrooms. I. Uh, I'm not sure, certain, but I do not trust them, and they were trying to grow in my head, and then I fell asleep, and I'd rather not. Yeah, that makes. I'm just going to. Sense. I'm going yeah. to get as far away from you as possible, if you don't mind. Paranoia, uh, Sounds fine. What are you all Wait. doing here, by the way? We're we're exploring in the uh, in the what was this place called? The the Undercity. I think. Yeah, the Undercity. We're we're just exploring the Undercity, like the uh, locals said huh. would be a good plan. Yeah. Don't poke the big mushrooms. They actually can attack back. Ah, cool. Uh, oh. Okay. Anyway, he's like, I don't think they'll respond if you don't touch them. But uh. Okay. Yeah. You know what? Do you know what's up with the gate here? I haven't the foggiest idea. Yeah. Oh gosh, darn it, Luke! You rolled a twenty. He knows exactly how it works. <laughs> oh. <laughs> uh, <laughs> roll the twenty on see through deception. Okay, fine. I have a negative on social and a negative on perception, and I'm the one who notices. Let's go. <laughs> I just rolled you first. You got a twenty. <laughs> uh, so, uh, like, surely a professor such as yourself would have. At least an idea what to do with such technology. Okay, now you must roll to hide your intention that you saw him. <laughs> I you, him. Oh, he knows. He knows that you know. Mm -hmm. And he's like, ah. Oh, no, I, I, I wouldn't know anything. I'm just a humble explorer. And he gets you a look. He knows you know. He's not going to say anything. He's letting you know. I do also... Tycoon just has technical knowledge, so she's going to go over Tycora to Tycora is oblivious. You go over to the arch... You press a button, and suddenly, the arch becomes pale white inside. Like, instead of going through it, there's now a pale white rippling effect there. And all of you sense a new vibration coming from the whiteness. Oh, boy. Yo, a dimension gate. That's, that's sick. That is so awesome. Let's go. That's, do, do, is there, like, another branching path off of this area? Uh... There looks like there might be a sealed up area right here, but like welded shut. Okay, so it's gonna be a tricky to get past it. Okay, there's. I say, yeah, I uh, well, let's fly. let's. Uh... Oh, are, does it appear as though it's the same technology as was in like the hallway? Uh, this gate, yes. Okay, so if we start ripping out wires from the hallway, chances are the gate's gonna shut down. <laughs> Possibly, but remember, once you've traveled, you can memorize the locations of vibration. Yeah. Let's so go, let's go, let's go. We can honestly just like pop through, mm. pop back, like pop through, oh. pop back, and then just like. Why don't oh, we just... go through and uh, scout it out and come back? We, and yeah, we don't know it. if the gate is like one way or something, but yeah, translation would take four hours if we needed to. But regardless, anyways, mm -hmm. I uh, I go to Doctor Munson. And I'm like, uh, you 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 sure you didn't know it did that? Because Tycoon <laughs> kind of just walked up and hit it. I'm absolutely certain. I have been dealing only with the mushrooms. Now, excuse me, I have but, business to attend to at my what, school. Wait, you, you, you said he wasn't mutated at all, right? Yeah, he's not mutated at all. Yeah. I'm, I'm hmm. like, uh, friend, you're not from here, are you? Yeah. Uh, yeah he yeah, shrugs yeah, and is like, I don't know where here is, my friend. Um. And then he jumps through the portal. <laughs> Try to stop him. Someone who's going to try to stop him. <laughs> I'm wait, in front of he, the portal. He's running through all of us? Oh, right. He's going to go the other way, then. <laughs> um, so he's dashing back into the hallway. Yep, okay. he, jumps, he jumps up the rubble. Whoop, whoop. Oh, what? It, that fast? <laughs> uh, he seems alarmingly fast. Follow, follow, I, follow, 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 follow him, follow him. I, I, I tell the hunter slime to tail him. <laughs> I, I run and, you know, after him. Yeah, the, <laughs> okay. hunter slime and Vivian are chasing him down. <laughs> okay. uh, oh, he pulls also, out his cane. dash boots. He pulls out his cane, which it turns out he doesn't actually need, and points it back at you while he's running. Dodge level six mm -hmm. attack. Vivian. 
Ah! Oh, fuck. Oh, we're all well. I am six, also said. Level six, yeah, so eighteen or higher. Can I can I add one of my can I add my speed red edge to that? Uh if you want to spend speed, yes. You have to spend three points of speed. Or actually two. Oh, has it been an hour? Did all of our magic keys wear off? Yeah. Yeah. I'm saying so. Even though technically maybe not, but sure, yes. <laughs> anyway, okay, so I'll add to yes, everything more. Okay. So I spend so I spend two speed and you get plus to three. increase it by one. Yeah, you get plus three. I'm turning on Resonance oh, Field. Three. Resonance Field is on now. All right. Um. Plus three. Uh, you've successfully dodged, and in fact, somehow managed to get a shot off while running. <laughs> you hit him. Ooh. Like that. Ooh. And he he stumbles down, and I subdue him. Right. Uh. Right. Roll for roll to catch him as a secondary. Uh, I would like to activate my uh, the dash function on my dash boots and move very fast. Move very and quickly. Follow. My Vivian rolls to actually catch it. But I am following. I think I caught him. Wow, okay. Uh, with you and Suki, you do in fact catch him. Yeah. And uh, he, he actually, before you grab him, he realizes you're going to grab him ahead of time. And he says, he holds up his hands. Very well. Mm -hmm. This is a very unpleasant situation. I'd better not be. I had no intention yeah, well, be no. I had no intention of meeting doing? anyone. My friends. Where are you from? What the heck? I yeah, shot you shot them. I, 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 I am quite sorry for being quite deceptive. You understand, I'm in a strange place, and you all look well. She, he points at Suki, who was covered in slime. We are in the same position as you are, sir. Yeah, well. You could have told you that on the Yes. Yeah. Well. Is Typhoon still by the portal? Uh, yep. Okay. Yep. Stunts is like <laughs> Ty Tycoon and Sosa okay, stayed behind. <laughs> Perhaps we can make out some sort of agreement. Just no need to be hasty. I honestly just want you to stop being shady and give us information. What information would you like? I am simply a professor. Who are you? I am Professor Munson. Where are you from? Uh, well, I am from uh, London. 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 I take, it, another world. I take it you hopped through that gate and found yourself in the mushroom room? You see, while yes, I'm not entirely certain where the gate came from or how I ended up there, but the mushrooms I remember very clearly. So you don't re you don't remember, like, being in London? That is, that is a lot of dice. That is a lot of dice. <laughs> and I don't lie. And so I'm like, you don't remember, like, being in London and researching hmm. a gate? There, like, there wasn't a gate in London? Not that I recall. Hmm. But how did you yeah. get here? That is a very good question. How did we get here? Uh, Void, you of all people, get the very, very slightest indication that he's not telling you everything. Of course he's not. No, so I'm going you know? to, you know, whisper it in there, yes, without him knowing it. Yeah. You can see that I'm whispering, but without him hearing it. I also uh, I also tie his hands and his legs. Would you, would you oh. he he resists at first like would you not? I am not going to attack anyone. I you shot at me. You were trying to you chase me. You carry me. a large rushed. stick with a big spike in it. And maybe you shouldn't have run in the first place. That's what the police would call sketchy yes. behavior. Sketchy <laughs> behavior. <laughs> You can't tell me you wouldn't run from a group consisting of a giant mutant cockroach, a woman in giant hey, armor. I told you I'm not normally a cockroach. Well, excuse me, miss, but I have no way of knowing that. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, well, I can I tell you our intentions are not going to I have a feeling that, that you're not letting up in. I stuck her finger into the portal. What? So, so what? <laughs> okay, uh... When you stick your go. finger into the portal, the, a feeling Actually, washes feel... over you similarly to how uh, you focus on a vibration. And you kind of just, in a haze, un involuntarily walk the rest of the way through. <laughs> tycoon does have erratic behavior. Uh, tycoon did that. Oh, Tycoon? Uh, uh, ah, I thought yeah, it was me. Sosa. Okay, Tycoon goes, boop! And Sosa freaks out. Oh my goodness, oh my goodness. 
and she wonders, should she follow? <laughs> should she get the other? This is not... Meanwhile, I mean, back with that. Professor Munson. <laughs> I have a feeling you're not letting us in on everything. Would I have you, a feeling I you're have, lying. Uh, okay, in that case, yes, I am very much lying, but I have no intention of telling any of you what's actually going on, because you are all, for all I know, pirates or some kind of vagabonds who would kill me as soon as I gave you my information. Cora rolls her eyes and using one of her cockroach arms pulls her um, her creepy organic bug phone out of her pocket. I'm assuming this doesn't do anything to prove that we're not from this world, but I'm giving it a shot. Yeah, uh, by the way, all things are disguised to the world itself, so while it is a biogram computer, it's one you would find here. Um, yeah, everything is transformed to this world. And shoves it back in her bag. Oh, I did not realize it was transformed. Never mind. Uh, oh, wait, wait, I know. She opens it up. You, it's, it takes her a lot longer than normal because, again, it's cockroach. Um, but she eventually flicks through some photos um, and finds a picture of her that's just a selfie. But it is a picture of her, but she's a troll, not a cockroach. Uh, this does little to dissuade me that you are not some kind of murderous rampaging creature of some kind. Oh, for the love of... I, I, I have killed, like, two people. See, uh, 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 Munson turns to Suki. You see what I'm up with here? Do you yeah. see oh, my I'm concern? Back I, I, I stare at... Clearly being that helpful. I stare at... Zycora. I stare at Zykora and say, Shut up. No. You are not helping. <laughs> yeah, I know. That's why I'm leaving. <laughs> Go to the portal. See what happens. <laughs> I'm halfway there, and I... Like, what's up? What's up? She, she fell through. She fell through. Oh, she went through the portal. She, she, oh, she fell through the portal. I'm sad. I'll go tell everybody. Okay, <laughs> yes, I know I said I was leaving, but I'm back now because Tycoon went through the portal. We should probably go deal with that. Oh, dear. Ty Tycoon did what? <laughs> he went through the portal. Yeah. I just said. Oh, come on. Munson is like, how about you all deal with that? I'm gonna you go just follow let her. me you leave. I have whatever. no. I don't want anything to do with any of this. I can just leave. Okay? Yeah, but you no. clearly have something to do with it, so you're not I going think anywhere. You're, why not? Well, you came there. Did you come through the portal? I'm gonna, I'm gonna go through the portal. Be back in a... I probably never, but whatever. He simply folds his arms, um, smiles, and stops talking. I don't know if that's a good idea. Yes, he did. He came through the portal. I would threaten him, but I think that would be unhelpful, so. I'm just gonna look at him and say, well, we'd be better off figuring this all out together opposed apart. Oh, I have no... I, in, the thing is, you know, an alliance, I have nothing against that. But, right. see, I don't know you. And to be perfectly honest, I don't like most of the people where I come from. So I think you understand that I have a little bit of a trust issue. Yes. I say, I I say well, you know, ha have fun on the surface then. Have I fun finding your way to the surface. I will. There are lots more roach people and they're not as friendly. Oh, I will. I Thank you. Can you untie me, please? <laughs> Surely there are laws against just kidnapping people, right? I have no idea what laws are in this universe. This place is post-apocalyptic. I don't think law exists. Huh, how unfortunate. Uh, yes, yes. Yes, indeed. Anyways, we need to go We need to go save Tycoon from her own madness, so... See you in a bit. I just Ikora, zip off on my... Uh, on my, uh... Ikora waves to Munson. Have fun getting eaten by other roach people who are actually roaches. I haven't so untied what? him yet. We're getting yeah. radio activity. Radio, yes. radio, he radio, turns to me. Are you going to untie me or just leave me to die? Rosa's waiting by the portal. I, I'm still did, freaking did, out. Did we actually tie him up? Vivian I did. Yes. I, I tied his hands. Yep. He's like, will you untie okay. me or will I have to figure out some way to move these balance myself? Just, just untie him. If he runs again, I'll fly after him and knock him down. Oh, so, I have no know. intention of staying with you people, just so you know. He has no intention yeah. of staying with us. But that is my intention. You're really gonna drag him with you, mister. Alright, you can do that. He'll, he won't be happy about it, but he's not gonna try to fight anymore. If you spend more time with us, you'll learn to trust us. I didn't trust these people at first either. Just on top. Just. Yeah, I don't know. 
Do you drag him he with you? Know something we don't. I don't trust it. I a sighs slightly. No. She is bored. And then she walks through the portal. <laughs> it's like, oh, it's like, whoop! Oh, dear. Oh, dear. Oh, oh no, we could forward. go up to that portal and cause some sort of explosion. And then she rips to a place. Also, I don't think it'd be wise to leave this guy behind while we're all inside that portal. We might not find ourselves able to come back here. Well, we can just translate directly back to the hub world. We could. True. We could. Yeah, so... <laughs> yeah, there's that. Did we always have that option? Yep. It takes yep. four hours, so you can't do it in a dangerous Ooh. situation. Yeah, you can just kind of, you know, hop back to... Yeah. We can actually go to Arden as well. You guys can't go to Arden. We can help you come to Arden. <laughs> yeah. Anyway, so... What... So, yeah. Um... I don't know. So Vivian is bringing Munson with us? <laughs> yep. Alright, Munson's like, fair. Fair enough, I suppose. Let's, let's go see the universe. We okay, so it's fair, almost fair six. Oh. Yeah, we're almost we're almost done we're almost done with time. We're almost the end of the adventure. You got... We're gonna walk through the portal, right. and that's where the adventure's gonna end. Oh yeah. no, you you're, you're <laughs> still, there's, there's a tiny bit more. Anyway, uh, you guys walk through. Uh, Sosa's closest, I guess. Suki, Sosa. And we go under. And Vivian carries up the rear with the slow guy he's trying to drag through. <laughs> All right, Vivian. <laughs> As you're ready to drag him through, he's going to try something. Oh. As it turns out, he's actually level 7. He's only level 6 because he was trying to run. So, if you don't roll a 20, you don't stop him. Okay. Fair. You could also put in effort. You could put in effort. It's uh, speed. Because yeah, I'll, use, I'll, use, I'll use a might bonus on that. Uh, it's speed based this time. Why is it sure. speed? Wouldn't it be might to hold on to him? Uh, all right, you can do you can do either. Yeah, he has an edge in both. Oh, <laughs> all right. Uh, eighteen oh, or higher. Three, I guess. <gasps> <laughs> you nice. grab him by the neck, and he doesn't go anywhere. Yes. You understand? I'm the police. Where I'm from. <laughs> I've fought monsters way larger than you, and dealt with people way darker than you. I, I have anywhere. doubts about that one. <coughs> Can you let me off my neck? Please. Just oh. chuck him through the portal. <laughs> wow, Vivian's cool. Ah! <laughs> Vivian is cool. Hey, Munson, guess what? You're coming with us to whatever you want or not. Okay. Yeah. So... The portal you go through, and and unlike the normal translation, you only see the strains for like a split second. You, this is a very quick thing. <laughs> and you arrive. All of you have been transformed as well, but I'm not going to bother giving out new forms because they're all base standard physics human forms. No powers at all. Oh, it's, it's so am I, just wearing, am I just wearing like? I don't have my aspect. I don't even have my class back. Nope, you have not. I don't even have my wings. Do You're mundane, pure mundane humans. All you keep basically is your gender. Do I still have my sword? Yes. Can I still translate you back? A, uh, you guys can translate with your meditation, but there is no gates at all. Oh. Huh. Strange. You appear on a street in the middle of London. For those of you who know what London is. <laughs> oh, London. I'm not sure I've heard of that This is like normal sure. Earth? Uh, it seems like normal Earth, and uh, there's a street, and uh, there's police walking around, people doing various things. They seem not to notice you guys appear. Uh, Munson only looks slightly different, as if he had he translated as well, but his facial features didn't change much. His hair barely changed at all, that sort of thing. Uh, all right, Munson. Pipe up. This is clearly where you're from. Munson. What are you hiding from us? I have no reason to tell you anything. Why would I? Because I still have a sword? Well, you could stab me, but I'm pretty sure the police would take offense to that. That's a fair point. Or we could, fair point. Or we could Wait, take where him are to we their now, police. Exactly. Really We're well, in the middle of London. This looks like... On a... a uh, wherever on it a, is? On a mundane Earth... Oh, uh, wherever it is, I can already tell it's gonna be boring. 
Part Can one? I try to find uh, uh, some place that displays the date? Uh, sure, displays the date. Let's see. Uh, well, it is, by the way, it's, 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 it's older London. There's like no cell phones or stuff around. Isn't that there? There are newspaper oh, stands. Okay, there, there were newspaper. There, there, yes, there. newspaper. I don't know what the exact date is, but the front paper headline is ahem, Sherlock Holmes solves great murder mystery two weeks uh, unsolved. Ah, okay. Sherlock this Holmes. Is, this is Sherlock <laughs> Holmes. All right. Okay. Late eighteen hundreds, early nineteen hundreds. Yep. See, yeah, does Tycoon know this? Because her world has fiction. Yeah, you, you, uh, Sherlock Holmes, of course, you know about. Huh, that's. I'm just waiting for the Homestuck world. <laughs> I guess the world that has Homestuck. Or Alternia. I would love so that. monkey everyone deal with around Alternia. here. Even a lot of monkey my, people. So <laughs> <laughs> anyway, uh, Amuse, yeah. what do you do with this information? Anything? Hmm. This clearly is my earth. Mm. Uh, but Tycoon's gonna go back to the rest of the group and say, We appear to be in a world where a character from my world exists. Sherlock ah. Holmes. Oh, Sherlock, alright. Interesting. Suki, roll and see if you roll your ancient history. Uh, this Monson guy is in Moriarty, is he? Roll ancient history. Oh, all right. I roll a two in ancient history. You have no idea who Sherlock Holmes is. Sherlock Holmes. <laughs> because uh, Takud's world is actually 2010, 2011. I still, I, I could not find a date for Slime Rancher. Yeah, Slime Rancher is probably a few hundred years in the future because of space. And... Anyway, uh, you know Sherlock Holmes is real. Now what? I, I say we should probably let, uh, let our friend here go. Because, uh, you know, having people tied up is bound to get you arrested. Yes, I, yeah. I, I'm hoping that cop over there wisens up. Or maybe he has a bounty stupid. on his head. And Perhaps this man's that a criminal. The technology and resources connected to the gateway we no longer need since we can simply travel here whenever we wish. Oh, I'd still like to take this man to what are, those appear to be police officers. I mean, he... I don't think he's really done anything wrong. He might have a warrant for his arrest. Well, it is quite simple. You take me to them. I explain that you kidnapped me. We have a lo lovely romp to the police station. Oh, and kidnapped you oh, where? Here? here? Oh, 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 I will simply out. say in a basement somewhere. Uh, no, I mean, over there, perhaps. Uh, they will not believe any of your story. Oh, oh yeah? I think he's we'd right. Better, we'd better just let him go, I'd say. Yeah. No. No. He might yeah. stick the cops on us anyway. Oh, you have my word I mean, that I will not, because I would rather not have to deal with them, you understand? But I will if I have to. See here? Do you hear that? He'd rather not have to deal with the police. Yeah, I think this suspicious. man's a criminal. That's suspicious. Mm. Uh, wait, what are police? <laughs> <laughs> I think they're like wardens. What Just... the warden? Oh, they enforce the law on Oceanus. What's a law? A thing you can do. Alternia has laws. I know, I'm kidding. <laughs> They're very rare, and they're not. Mostly, the laws are who can kill who. Yeah. <laughs> oh, ouch! Yeah, pretty much. Okay, so anyway, yeah. What are you gonna do with Munson? Can't really kill people. Well, since he's so clearly, clearly so. sketchy, he's clearly s sketchy and doesn't want anything to do with their police, which means to me, we should bring him to their police. Uh, he looks you right in the eye and sure. says, "Do it, then." <laughs> There's a man right over there. I'm pretty sure that even though we can translate, it would still be real inconvenient to have to get end up going to prison. Well, you know, we can just sit in prison for four hours. I walk over to the police officer. I walk over. All right, Vivian walks to the police officer. Oh dear! I, I asked oh, someone. Dear. I asked. I'm immediately. Watch him. Yeah, I'm out. Uh, 
I'm no. out as well. Sakura, <laughs> I'm asking oh. someone to watch Munson while I go to the police officer. Oh, no. I'm not doing it. Tygood wants to go back to the gateway and take all the technology. Well, the gateway's yeah. gone. There's no gate. The w there's oh, no yeah. gate on this side. Uh oh. We're gonna have to translate to get to anywhere else. Oh, no, find an alley somewhere, to... I guess. Just translate back to uh, where they were and then go salvage the if gate. If you translate back to Cataclyst, you will appear next to the gate because you tend to appear where you left. Yeah. I forgot to make you roll I mean, for I translation could... to Cataclyst. Oh no. <laughs> Anyway, uh, who's gonna watch Munson for Vivian, or no one? I mean, uh, oh, fine. Is, is Thunder gonna do it? <laughs> nope. I'm already oh, injured. Fine, I'll watch him. Okay, Vivian, what are you nope. gonna do with the cop? I'm gonna try to wrap this up. In I'm gonna go ask him, and I'm going to ask him. Hello, officer. Uh, what's up, man? What's up? <laughs> <laughs> you, you know, you, you know that's not how British probably speak. Oh, right? I want me to go. What? What's all this, then? You want me to do that? <laughs> Hello, no. sir. What do you I want? I was wondering if there's any warrants out for the arrest of a certain man with the last name of Munson. Munson? I haven't heard that name ever. What? No, maybe my left cousin. cousin. Not maybe. Uh, no, there's no warrant out for that guy. <laughs> left cousin. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, sir. Bye. Yeah, you're good. I go up to Munson, I cut him free. Like, Bye! Thank you, sirs, for all of this. Have fun! Goodbye. Whatever, and he turns down doing. the first street he can come to and just leaves. Yeah, the rest of us just started walking down a different street like ages ago. Yeah. Okay, like, no, oh, I completely fun. forgot something earlier. Hmm? But I'll do it here. Uh, you see... A masked guy with a very, very similar mask to one uh, Vivian has seen before. Sitting, selling uh, puppets, of all things, at a stand. Oh, that's incredibly oh. suspicious. Oh, boy. What's up, with the, what's up with the masked man? That. Uh, he's yeah, selling puppets. He's selling puppets at a stand. And only Vivian recognizes this mask. Oh, <laughs> the, stars, I hate puppets. The mask. The what's up man with the mask from Arden. This man. I saw him in... I saw the mask from Arden. Clearly, the man behind it is not the same man. That's deeply suspicious and is unnerving me in ways I cannot fully explain. Did you talk to the masked man last time? I did. I mean, I thought he was a criminal, but yeah, yeah I talked to him. Oh, by the way, it's easy to tell that this guy has a cipher on his stand. And yeah, like he 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 gave us ciphers. In fact, he gave me two of the ciphers I currently have after we do we know saved him from a red homunculus. Uh. Oh, uh, okay, so we, so you're, what you're saying is we need to go talk to him. We need to talk to him. He has ciphers. All right, all right. And he might okay. know a few things. He's like, ah, oh, welcome, welcome. Would you like to buy a puppet? Sure. Oh. All right, the cipher. Absolutely not. The cipher is a puppeteer. A puppet. Allows you to take an action as another creature. Oh, oh, that is nice. I'll take that. <laughs> all right, so he gets it. Oh, no puppets. No puppets ever. Suki has taken the puppet. Anyway, what else do you guys want to do with him? He's just, he's saying, you got anything else to buy? No. All right. Have you heard of a Professor Munson? Uh, no. Why do you look like you, why are you all looking at me like that? Nothing. So, it's, I, just I, been, it's just been a I've hard met, day. I'm very curious about your mask, sir. Hmm? My mask? Ah, uh, found yes. it, found it uh, in a garbage dump like three months ago. Seemed to fit perfectly. I don't. I guess I haven't taken it off since then. Actually, quite fun. <laughs> would you mind taking it off? I would like to inspect it. I, I'm not asking to hold it or anything. Uh, I yeah. just like to. Uh, he seems to hesitate for a moment, but he takes it off. And, Does he uh, look like the guy I saw on Arden? Not at all. Different person. <laughs> Anyway, we're gonna have to wrap up soon. So handing over here, creeped out. Fascinating. Can we, I have like... no. All right, so this guy clearly knows nothing. It's just the mask that seems to seems familiar. So what? Uh, should we just should we just go back and take the technology and then get back to? Yeah. All right. Let's do it. Let's find an alley somewhere to translate. Okay, so uh, you guys can find somewhere to translate. Not a problem. 
All that matters is uh, the translation roll, which I forgot to do last time. So, oh boy. Uh, you have to roll translate the back to. Yeah, well, when you fail, you still usually get to the location. You just have problems. <laughs> oh boy. So, uh, Duke, just roll once. Uh, oh, it's a 100, right? No, the 100 is when you fail. <laughs> oh. <laughs> uh, oh, seven. You're fine. You get to Cataclysm. You appear back in the yep. place. You get the car technology. Yep. Uh, roll again to return home. All right. We, we get our technology and we return home. Success. Returning home is the easiest task level one. You have so returned you home. Own... All right. That was an adventure in Cataclysm. Oh. How much tech do we get? Sykora, like... Okay. You got enough around. tech to do a lot of things. Uh, assume that you have enough to build most of what you want to build. Uh, let me know if you <laughs> want to build more than one suit of armor, though. <laughs> yeah. I feel like I, I I feel like I've taken some really heavy battering. Yes, you have. <laughs> yeah. Anyway, I I'm gonna rest in the anyway, I, for the three new players, you'll be in the IC shortly. Just if I have to just have to add your uh, strange lit. Add the rolls add to get the roll into the channel. To allow you to get in. Yes, I mean I I've been able to talk. I'm I already just, in. I don't know why, but I've been in the entire time. You can type now. I was about to say I can, I couldn't I I can just bypass it I can, I just gave myself the road but you know yeah, I noticed oh. anyway so everyone I just realized um what just talk to is this, is this level up time okay everyone gets four experience put it on your character sheet uh you can see you can see how to level up and a pin in the IC. So, so how much how much experience till we level up? You get four with four experience, you can level up. So you'll see the how to in the IC to do it. I'm not oh shoot, look. I'm two levels blind. <laughs> ah, you are, aren't you? <laughs> yep. Ooh, level up anyway, time. Uh, check the IC to uh, level up. If you need to talk to me about it, talk to me about it later. Usually, you should be able to do it yourself, though. Yeah. Um, uh, what about our focus? If our focus is. Uh... Different than like the ones in the book. Note that if you take a focus advance, I will have to help you. Yeah. So Gibbs, Jim's about to have dinner, so. So so question. Um, which, yeah, just a quick question. How do, how much do you recover while you know out of session and in oh. the channel? Uh, once you're out of session, you get healed to full. Doesn't matter. All right. Unless for uh, some reason you stopped in the middle of doing something. Yeah. Kind of like cliffhanger deal. <laughs> yeah. Anyway, uh, next session, I'm going to say Sunday noon. Sunday at noon. All right. Sunday, I am going to... Sunday so at noon? What, what Sunday... What, what's that? That is Sunday the 10th, right? And I'll be running RNG about who gets to go later. Right now, I'm probably going to have to have some dinner. I don't know. Um, right. Um, I'm just going, I am yeah. just going to add the, uh, the you know uh, the thing to the spreadsheet. Yeah, do add to the spreadsheet so I can do it and uh, place black squares in all the reserved places because they have out now actually had their turns. Yeah. Um, hey, uh, Duke. Yes. Uh, would yep. Dukey want a set of armor? Um. I mean, I have no actual combat abilities other than slimes, so I I normally sh I normally shouldn't be in combat. I should be off to the side lobbing slimes from the middle of nowhere. So someone else would probably uh, benefit from armor more. Anyway, I like could use some armor. Anyway, I am going to go. You guys keep talking all yeah. you want. And remember, Bye -bye. you can edit your character sheets by going to the Roll20 page and accessing the journal. You can access it at any time. All right. Okay, Goodbye. I'm doing it now. Uh, yeah. When you level up, when you level up, does that mean you go from tier one to tier two? Uh, no. You... See the see the IC post. It tells you about how to use the tier stuff. Oh. Okay. Yeah. 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 I, I have now updated the spreadsheet. Cool. So that's cool. cool. And now the recording stops. <laughs>